What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Dope as Usual podcast. I am Thomas, Dope as Yolo, whatever you want to call me. I'm here with Marty O'Neill. What's up? What's up? That Bill's jacket is tight. It's fucking playoff it's season, boy. Let me just throw that shit out there. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's fresh yeah. as hell. Nah, we just got demonetized. Damn it. Um, guys, sorry, let me get into this. I know I was distracted by the jacket. Today, I have, we have a very special guest. I know we haven't talked to you about it yet, Trevor, but this is Trevor Wallace. How are you yeah. doing today? Doing good. I didn't uh, bring it up to you. I'm a fucking big fan. I've been oh, watching thanks, this shit man. for years, bro. That's really cool. Like when, uh, you know, Nick, Nick Coletti? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back when I was chilling with those fools when I was, like, fuck, eight years ago. And then I saw you, what, three years ago? The uh-huh. first thing I ever saw you do, man, that got me hooked instantly. I told him when our booking agent was like, what about Trevor Walls? Like, fucking get him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys that drink Bang Energy. Oh, dude, that's a great one, bro. That's one that, like, that's probably one of my favorites. That's my favorite show. Because it just, like, I literally drank three bangs that You really did? Oh, for that video? Yeah, like, my my head, like, felt like Velcro, which I don't even know what that means, but I was like, it was so funny because we filmed that. We were just talking about Beverly Hills, which is funny. We filmed that in Beverly Hills, which is, like, to have that much energy in Beverly Hills and not be like the richest guy there is hilarious. So yeah, that was funny because it just uh, you just run around just off the bank. So like half those like that video wasn't very scripted. It's just like whatever I feel off the fucking oh, bang, I tell, dude. Bro, yeah, that you're like, oh, he did forty takes. Yeah, what's well, funny? And he kept the good shit. Yeah, dude. That they uh, they, that, yeah. have you ever seen the bang CEO? He just DM me like two weeks ago being like just saw the video and i was like oh God, he's fucking i don't know about bang he, energy really the, the the ceo looks like he invented the word pyramid scheme he's like 60 <laughs> he's like 60 but he's jacked as fuck and he wears a medallion with a b on it for bang oh, he's shit. balling <clears throat> oh he's a legend he's oh, a legend is, bang, <laughs> is it a big energy drink oh he fucks Oh, sorry, Fox. we can't cut. We no, can't you can cut. say whatever the fuck you want. Oh, if they won't demonetize me. They'll demonetize you. If you <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, hey, fuck you, drug dealer. That's what they're going to say to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we're fine, we're fine. Yeah. Oh, real quick. Do you smoke weed at all? I do at night. You do at night? Yeah, I'm a nighttime guy. Uh-huh. I'm a fucking Kid Cudi guy. That's fine. That's fine. I just want to make sure because uh, I don't want to smoke people the fuck out. So I just... Oh, uh, oh, 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 you... I, no, I just want to make you sure I have plenty of joints. But oh. I'm saying, no, because I don't really like to smoke people. Right. Some people like... Fuck, yeah, I'd be nervous smoking. to get high to go on a podcast because I think I would just say, yeah, uh-huh, yep, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, you ever seen rappers on Joe Rogan? Like, uh-huh. yeah, they're like, sure. they're like, I feel bad, man, because when you're high, you think you're on some intellectual shit, but all you're doing is agreeing every four seconds. You're like, yeah, uh-huh. Fuck, I know. That funny. would be terrible, bro. Actually, uh, I don't know. But sometimes I've done stand-up high when the other people in the crowd are high and i feel like there's like this like wavelength so if me and you were both high and then the people who are listening were high mm-hmm. well, that's exactly the show yeah. everybody <laughs> fucking is high everybody right hates me because i'm not high right now but that's but, when you get on like some like that's my favorite is like when you're just like it's an idea that doesn't make sense if you're sober but you're spitballing a little high and so he's like i think i know what you're talking about bro i think almost everything makes sense if you just keep fucking going you know what i mean man uh, do you know what no yeah. you get me dude yeah but hear me out yeah, <laughs> yeah. hear me a couple hear me out yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do is just kind of like smoke with homies and just kind of riff a little bit and just see where you go, you know? Or you just hide by yourself and you look into a mirror for too long and you just that's think about mushrooms stars. For me. Mushrooms? When I eat mushrooms, I stare at the mirror. I, have you seen yourself age? It's fucking scary, bro. Is it good or bad? It's fucking awesome. Like, oh, I'm gonna look cool at 70. Yeah, I've done mushrooms once. And oh, really? Yeah, I did them in Palm Springs, which I is like it. all you're supposed to do in Palm Springs. I liked it a lot, actually. I thought it was cool. I, uh, everything was vibrant as hell. This, I mean, this studio be going off. Oh, I did mushrooms on the show a couple weeks ago. These walls were just doing this. Yeah, how did you even focus? Oh, he had to do all the ad reads. I had to stop. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh my I had God. to stop. And he came and sat in like, bro, I'm fucking Dude, I tripping. feel like a bitch for showing up just off caffeine. <laughs> Should we fucking do some key bumps or something? <laughs> no, you're fine, bro. Damn. You got fucking Lysol over here. We had to make sure. crazy, bro. We had to make sure, bro. Yeah, no. If if I didn't have such an insane day today, I'd probably smoke. Because it's cool. Because it is fun just to kind of like. Yeah, our last guest, we don't. I mean, most. We had Dr. Drew in here yesterday. Yeah, we just don't. Dr. Drew high would be funny. I know. He's like, hey, man, these bitches ain't shit. You're like, Dr. Drew, I don't know. I don't know if that's the question I asked about arthritis, but okay. (laughs) No, dead on, dude. Like, I just want always ask just to make sure. Yeah. Some people might be like, hey, I need to get the fuck out of here. Well, do, do you believe in contact high? I yeah. feel like that's really? Yeah. Yeah, because uh, 
I mean, if we started smoking around, you'd be high as fuck by the end of this episode. It looks like it's about the thunderstorm in this motherfucker. Yeah, it gets oh, complete because it, it's 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 um insulated. Sound Y'all got insulated. irrigation in this bitch? No. Oh, that's just for the lights. <laughs> I, so I saw the poles and I was like, damn. My high ass friend built this. Yeah. Well, he's a great high friend. He's yeah. a construction guy. <laughs> he was just fucked. I gave him dabs and he just did it all. That's it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Usually, you give people methamphetamines and they'll build stuff. Dude, the last set was a seventy-year-old man. Shout out to Steve. Yep. Mm-hmm. He he works and he he's a psychedelic enthusiast. So I just gave him mushrooms at the end of it. Wow, <laughs> it's fucking yeah, awesome. Built the fuck out of that set. <laughs> I mean, like also <coughs> microdosing is so common these days. They're just like, do you want a bite of this chocolate? It's I like just it. Every, I, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's just, nice to because it gives you like an odd wave of like energy. I feel like you know? it just did this to me. Tabs you on, it's All it's right. like um, it's like uh, hallucinogenics are just tapping you on the shoulder to be like, I'm behind you. It's a good way to put it. Yeah, it's not like it's not in you, but it's behind you. See, I just did mushrooms for the first time too as a grown this man. This morning, not quite. <laughs> damn near. It was very recently. And yeah, I had yeah. like, did you have the problem where you're like, I don't know how much to take. I'm gonna yeah, try oh, to dip course. my toe into well, the shit. It was like the hard part is you buy them off somebody who does a fuck ton, and they're like, yep. do a half, do all of it, and you're like, yeah, but like you do this on brunch days. Like, yeah. what 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 is for me? Mm-hmm. You know, what do I take? I have the body of a scarecrow. What am I pulling in? <laughs> and then if they're like, do half, then I go, okay, let me do half of a half. And then I take That's that. Too. And then I'm like, am I a bitch? No. Should I take more? Uh, but, but yeah. That's how it, it goes. <laughs> no, I, uh, I think I did the perfect amount. And we, it was me and three other people in Palm Springs and just like an Airbnb. It was perfect. like middle of the pandemic. And we all took the same doses at the same time and it all hit at once for all of us. It was really cool. Nice. Could you talk or were you just like No, staring? no, no. It, it, was, it was like a, a lot of like laughs. A lot of like yeah. giggles. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember eating a popsicle. That was pretty vivid. I remember eating a popsicle. <laughs> Bro, I was bright as hell. Uh-huh. I thought I was at Coachella or some shit. I was just <laughs> waving it from my face. On a fucking couch. But yeah, we were just, no, we were all just like in a pool. And then like everything was so bright. Staring at the water is really cool. I've only done mushrooms at night, man. Whoa. I've never done them in the day. Got to do them in the day. I do crazy amounts though and sit in, really? the in my room by myself. It's fucking amazing. Damn. Because <laughs> if you're in pitch black, what do you see? Your fucking thoughts. It's like a projector, and you're just looking at. Whoa, that's fucking deep. Cool. It was very. Yeah, cool. but here's the thing: I have a lot of anxiety, so I feel like I'd lock that door and now just see like <laughs> Godzilla off. with his cock out, be like, "Come here, Trevor." <laughs> Possible. I, I see some scary shit, but never for Godzilla dick. Yeah, I, what the hard part is, you have to like remind yourself you're like tripping. Always, always go. You're fine. You're safe. You're in your room. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, but I'm in the sky. I'm like, yeah. But you're in your room. Remember. Yeah, that is interesting. Yeah, but it's almost like you have to set a reminder on your phone. Like, you're on drugs. Oh, I can't even look at my phone. Yeah. I'll go you, through every you, post I ever made. Like, but why did you say that? Do you, like, put it on <laughs> airplane mode and then, like, hide it I under a pillow? Off and throw it in another room. Wow. I feel like that's how you're supposed to do it. It's scary, bro. You let your mind be social media. Yo, yep. deep shit right there. Oh, yeah. Joe Rogan levels. Yeah, the second I looked down, saw my body, I went, oh, my fucking God. Do you have a favorite thing to do besides that? Or do you put on a certain type of music? All right, so if I'm on mushrooms and I make the same mistake every time, you ever mm-hmm. seen Pink Floyd the Wall? Yeah, yeah. The second he gets in the fucking gurney in the hospital and starts freaking out, going mm-hmm. through, all, I just I, I freak out and turn it off. Yeah, I get about an hour and forty in that movie and then I turn it off every fucking hour and forty time. is pretty solid though. You know what I'm saying? Like I know it's gonna happen. Uh-huh. I know what's gonna, and I do it to myself anyway. But no, yeah. I don't have anything fun to do on mushrooms. I just sit there and contemplate my life. It's fucking. But awesome. I think that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, yeah. You know, it'd be weird for like I gotta go do this and go paint a fence and you're like, what? Oh, fucking Josh yeah. Wolf over here. Yeah. Hey, See, I gotta go to a wedding. <laughs> I'm gonna eat eight mushrooms. <laughs> Fuck you, really? Bro. Yeah, but He's some crazy. people like, dude. I I I, I like join some like maybe a quick rip or something. But I had a buddy in college. He would hit a dab and then just go to psychology. Yeah, yeah. But that's like that I was at. his coffee. Yeah. That's where for you're sure. at. That's where we're at collectively. Oh yeah. yeah. But yeah. is that to like level you out or is that I just, just do it because I'm like. When I was broke as fuck as a kid, I'd be so happy if I could smoke a bowl for if I can do something. Now it's like, let me smoke eight bowls and then I'm gonna go to the bank. That's a good way to look at it. It's like a success story. It's That's not how I even like, it's like I don't even want to smoke. I'm like, but if I was 14, 14 on me, be hyped right now. Do you know the worst person was ever in high school? They'd like come up to you if you smoked and they'd be like, You fucking tripping? And they'd like put oh, a hand yeah, in your face. I hate when people do that shit. <laughs> I was, fucking hated yeah, those I remember guys, this bro. one kid. Fuck it. Kid sucked, but he'd be like, Fucking, he was wearing jorts. And he'd be like, You fucking wearing jorts. Tripping? <laughs> All those kids are cops now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you did. But it's like, <laughs> it's also right. like, that's not how you trip. You want to tell me I'm tripping? Yeah. Tell me there's no afterlife when I'm yeah. high. And then I'm like, uh, Your mom's here. Yeah, exactly. This isn't going to do anything. I kind of like it. Do it slower, 
uh, dim the lights, you know. But that never did anything to me. Well, except on mushrooms, but that's different because my hands are little. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. walking around with T Rex arms and shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, quick question. Yes, sir. Where'd you grow up? I grew up relatively out here. Camarillo? I don't know where that's at. Where are you from? Uh, Merced by Fresno. Merced. Trash. No. No, you, you like Merced? I think we should make the capital of California Merced. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Merced. <laughs> capital of No, no, I, it's, um, you know, Oxnard? Okay, it's Camarillo and Oxnard. It's all in the same kind of vicinity. It's down there. It's past us, right? Uh, past LA. It's north. in between Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. Oh, so to the left. Yeah, you just go one on one. You just fucking bazinga it down the street. So and the it's. Uh, what do you do out there, man? Oxnard. Oh, I went to the comedy show in Oxnard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oxnard's pretty boring. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, Check it's a set. very. Yeah, I mean, you go an hour outside of any major city and you're it's like, pretty much this is the same all. thing. Yeah, it's like when you, any in and out in the world looks the same to me. It's like, that's how kind that's of a true. city outside of Los Angeles looks to me. You're like, this is a city, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, I just, uh, I was outside a lot as a kid. I was always riding bikes or skateboarding, uh, dabbled in the cannabis early. That's what I was going to ask. Were you a bad kid or good kid? Not great. Not great. Not great. And I have a question. I feel like you're the kid that had at PTA meetings goes, your kid won't shut the fuck up in class. Uh, Were you that kid? Cause I, was I feel like so you're like the goofy kid trying to make people and farting on motherfuckers in second grade. <laughs> Dude, I was actually, <laughs> I was like the opposite. I, th really? I thought the kids that were acting up were like, I'm pretty like introverted in a sense of like, if I don't like, if I don't know the scenario. Yeah. I, I, I was kind of like, I was like the way I put it is like, I was funny for my friend group. But outside of that, if you didn't know me, you'd be like this fucking guy. Same here. They'll say yeah. a word at parties and shit like, can I go? Uh, right, well, I'd be like halfway. I don't know. I'd be like, if you knew me, you'd be like, oh, yeah, he's funny. But like, I think in high school, like when I started doing stand up, people were like, huh? In high school? Yeah, when I was 17. Oh, and shit. Fucking, you've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started with that. But then I went to college and then I wasn't, I was just like doing frat shit, getting hammered, you know. And then sophomore year, Vine came around and then I started doing Vine. And then junior year, I was doing stand up again. So. I've just been making videos and doing stand up since like 2013, 2014 ish. Yeah, for, like open uh, mic stand up or like yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just there's open mics in uh, San Jose. There's like a little scene out there. You could you know get enough like stage time yeah. and shit. But uh, damn, at 17, wow, man, you knew what the fuck you wanted to do. I, I really didn't. I, my like literally, my mom like told me to do it. Like it was in the paper in Oxnard, like Ventura. There's like those same. Their cities are right next to each other. There was a comedy club in Ventura, and there was like a a cutout that was like, oh, stand-up comedy classes. And my mom's like, fucking, you don't do anything else, do this, you know? And she's like, you got a good personality, I think you could, like, do this. And then I, uh, it was like, you took, like, six weeks of, like, how to, like, write jokes and, like, find and make stories funny. And then the first show I did was, like, a showcase show. But I got, like, this, like, pop and of, like, of laughter. And, like, I had never felt endorphins like that. Because I was never athletic, so I, I never had that experience where I, like, you know, hit the grand slam or I caught the game when he touched down. I've never like had that. Mm -hmm. So when I had a joke like pop, all of a sudden 200 people at once like liked me. I was like, oh shit. And it was kind of like just chasing that. And I just, I don't know. I've always just been comedy. Like I've never really watched war movies or serious movies growing up. I don't give a shit about any of like the Marvel stuff. I, you know, I'll just watch like Robin Williams and just stuff like that. And I'd be like, this is good. Perfect show. This yeah. is, that's why we yeah. fucking talk about yeah. carrying Robin Williams all the time. Exactly. So I just like never. <laughs> So it was like this, like perfect storm, like coming together. Really, but I yeah. love, I love that. Um, as a kid, so you're not watching Bravehearts and shit. What mm -hmm. are you watching as a kid? Who's your favorite co comedian or comedic actor growing up? Uh, probably Robin Williams. Yeah, I love Mrs. Doubtfire. I don't know why, but I fucking just brought that mm -hmm. up last show too. Really? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oddly progressive, dude. Yeah. He was out here Seriously. being a woman, dude. He was out yeah. here being a He's woman the OG. in like 19. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but that, a lot of Adam Sandler growing up. Uh, Same. Yeah, Adam Sandler was my guy. Uh, let's see. So you pretty much got shaped the way I was fucking mm. shaped. Adam Sandler is his favorite person. Of all time, him. yeah. All time. Yeah, I, I just love his fucking swag. How he I dresses. I just love everything. He really <laughs> just always dresses yeah. like he's hung over. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Basketball <laughs> shorts and a big ass fucking tee and shit now. But yeah. That's different. When you got that much money, it's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I fuck you. Yeah, you when you get that much money, you go through a cycle where you just kind of like you just want to be like normal again. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm gonna wear these and one basketball exactly. shorts that hang to my ankles. Yeah, I'll fucking that. pull them out to dinner. Yes, <laughs> uh, full circle. But yeah, a lot of that growing up. Uh, Jim Carrey is so goddamn funny. Ace Ventura was great. I love The Simpsons growing up. South same. Park, same. Family Guy. Dude, we were at the same fucking watching the same shit, man. 
That's yeah. everything you just mentioned. That's all I ever cared about. Shit. Me too. All I ever cared about was TV. Make, or was your mom like, yo, watch this shit. I'm busy. Is that why you were watching TV so much? I don't even know. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I was just kind of just always on in the background. I feel like there was always just a TV on. Were you a Cartoon Network kid? A Nickelodeon kid? Uh, Nickelodeon, but Cartoon Network had some jams. Uh, I fuck with Dexter and Angry Beavers. Angry Beavers are good. And then I was like all Nickelodeon for everything else. Where you at with Cat Dog? Cat Dog was dope. That last episode was sad as fuck. Oh, it was. Do you remember that? Damn, that's they, fucking deep they call. They died. <laughs> yeah. They fucking died. Well, they're like separated. guys, budget cuts. <laughs> yeah, they, but they but, separated in heaven, remember? And the cat's like, hey, you want to hang out? I forgot and about that. they just that. walked away in heaven. Yeah, I'm going to take peyote and watch it tonight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I just go to a dog park the next morning like why you have betrayed me uh -huh. yeah I, I forgot about that last episode um i want to get high and watch homeward bound i just talked about homeward bound are you serious yeah, up. That's yeah. Up. we just yeah. talked about it it's just what the hell's it's just, happening it's just animals with famous voiceovers uh -huh. Yeah. Homer Bounce pretty tight. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, mean, the editing shame. probably had to be atrocious for oh, like, they had well. to like green screen the mouse moving for all this. Or just dog doing this. Come on, Cassie. Nah, they just, I think yeah. they just didn't even bother. They just were like, they didn't do the movie mouse. They just had the voiceover. I'm pretty sure. Did yeah. they not? No, no mouse moved. Well, if they did, it was like shit was telepathic. Was very like, animals. I feel like these animals were pissed. Like, dude, just take me to a dog park. Why do I go to work fucking 6 a.m.? percent <laughs> What do you do for call times? Like, fucking, we need bow wow wow at 9 a.m. <laughs> Can you imagine how long that has to fucking take filming with just animals as the fucking talent? Yeah. Oh Bro, do you remember Look Who's Talking? Mm -mm. Oh, with John Travolta and they were, they played babies where the babies spoke and the babies had dialogue. No. One of the dumbest concepts ever, and I loved it as a kid. Really? I, I, Yo, go I, back I and watch that. Bruce was, Willis plays the voice of a baby, and Roseanne Barr plays the other voice of a baby. What is this called again? Look Who's Talking. Look Who's Talking. Terrible That's pretty concept. good. Terrible concept, but the movie was 90s great. I gotta check it out. <laughs> yeah, bro, I'm so excited. You watched all the same shit I did. So, growing up, you're watching movies and shit, and then you said, I started dabbling in the weed. So when did mm -hmm. you become that kid? That's what I always ask. When's that moment you went home and go, fuck, I'm with the party kids now? Uh, eighth grade summer. So a summer going into high school, freshman year. Oh, okay, okay. Mine was yeah. uh, the day the Bucks played the Super Bowl mm -hmm. uh, against the Raiders in that fucking horrible game was the night before I was watching Man TV. Really? And I finally smoked weed. Yeah. No I shit. Just, that was but it. But yeah, you got to smoke a little bit of weed just to watch a Raiders game, just to fucking <sighs> chill out a little bit, you know? <laughs> that, bro. They're never going to be good. Sorry, all Raiders fans. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, but they're in Vegas now. They don't give a shit. They don't. No. As like, long as they get fucking bets and motherfuckers get drunk. Yeah. I went to the, the stadium. Oh, yeah. I've, I've heard it's gorgeous. I heard there's a nightclub in it. Wynn has a, like a nightclub suite. There was a Twitch lounge in there as big as a Costco. <laughs> what the fuck? But you couldn't go in. The and Twitch streamers are getting more views than the football game. There's nobody in there. <laughs> really? It was just two security guards with a fucking empty Costco-sized Twitch room. Wow. Yeah, they should promote that, promote that shit better. The yeah. Fuck? I don't know. I just I like know a guy who works at Win like the nightclub out there, and he's like, yeah, you can get bottle service at a Raiders game, which is, mm -hmm. uh, how does that work? That's like doing fucking drugs at the bank. You're or just drugs at the DMV, like, yo, it's fun, I guess. Right, you're just watching Derek Carr, you're like, this DJ sucks. And like, yeah, it's a quarterback. <laughs> yo, That's I hilarious. feel so bad for that man. Uh, he just can't He's get a Fresno it dude, yeah? Mm. I think he's from he, he played the Valley. At he played at Fresno. Uh, his he? brother, Derek Carr, played Fresno State. Remember Derek Carr? Remember Derek? Uh, or uh, what's his, wait, Derek Carr, what's his older brother's name? Remember he, he was the quarterback for when the uh, Texans became a, or Tennessee Titans or who's their quarterback right now it's Derek Carr sorry his older brother was the kid from Fresno State oh really his I older brother that was, was the same the, guy uh, no there was two both named Derek no no I'm sorry I forgot I was the say their parents got to fucking switch <laughs> no, it up no, no. but they they're from the valley yeah they have a billboard agriculture right by my town nice yeah they're from the fucking valley Hell a lot yeah. of motherfuckers come out of there man but yeah they're like get me out of here exactly like yo drugs no football good yeah but that dude that's a way out Derek right. and Darren. Right. Darren Carr. Who's Darren Carr? He was the quarterback for the Texans for years. Oh. Remember but Derek Carr is the one who played at Fresno State and now no, he, uh, Raiders. I don't know if he played Fresno State, but I know his brother did. It was like the talk of our town because nobody does anything with right. drugs. Yeah, we had like two guys play baseball that went MLB. And that was about it. You know, it's down bad for Camarillo when I'm like the number one prospect of fame out there. I might, I might be three. I think there's a girl on Big Bang Theory that was out there. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, the guy that wrote Sideways, the movie, is mm -hmm. from Merced, and that's it. Okay. 
Oh, and that that kid, Jalen Green, for the fucking Rockets, just got drafted. He's from Merced. Okay. Other than that, it's just straight meth and babies. Meth and babies. Gang banging. Or meth babies. Meth and babies. gang banging. <laughs> and gang bangs. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Should uh, we go? Check it out. Should we go and have you a kid? Go, you ever go back there? You're kind of like, don't. No, I go back chapter. to see my family and shit. Yeah. But other than that, I'm cool, bro. I mean, yeah. it's nothing for me to do. Um, yeah, the first time I, I think I found out I was, I was a delinquent, there was a kid who was a year younger than me and he had access to the weeds. He's like, we can get it. First time I ever smoked weed was eighth grade on 420. Oh, you yeah. You were the shit then, dude. Oh, yeah. High school next year, bro. Yeah, but you know, it's funny. It was out of a, <laughs> it was out of a uh, light bulb socket. Oh, you So I was on some Merced shit. Yeah, I was saying you went with the, the white guy tweaker route. Yeah. The but, socket. But every, uh, well, it was like, uh, where we put like the pen cap in it and then. Uh, it oh, was you a, guys made it. Yeah. I see yeah. what you're saying. Well, this dude was like. He he had done, parents he had, smoke in the he had yard. smoked like five times and you know I had access to Google so I was like how to make a bong right and then we just met up in an alleyway at <laughs> four twenty but yeah it was a pen on the light cap and I don't know he just smashed the glass and like drilled a hole in it sure there's a better way you know you just go the metal pen cap route yeah you ever smoke out of a metal pen cap no really that was like like no like you would just take a pen so that had like a metal cap and then you twist it off and then you put it in the back end. Like a one hitter, yeah, but one hitter. But then you put it in a water bottle, uh, like you burn a hole. It would and eventually make a come a down stem with a. Yeah, pole. exactly. Oh, exactly. that's cool. I used to just uh, get a can, poke holes with a safety a pin, can, and just uh, rip that bitch like that. Because I can crush it and throw it away. Because my mom will stab my ass if I was caught doing drugs. Oh wow! So I would crush that shit and throw it over a fence. You ever smoke out of an apple? Yeah, Reese. Only when I was like. 25. I never did it before. There was always some kid trying to eat the apple. Yeah, there was always a kid that ate the apple. Yeah, you're like, Cody, higher. fucking I'll yeah. buy you some tacos <laughs> yeah. or something, dude. Just so, try to like, eat. Yeah, he would say that. It's an edible now. Like, dude, shut the get me a higher. <laughs> like, you're, you're, eating, school, bro. you're eating the stem right now, dog. <laughs> yeah, it was always weird. Like, we all just made love to his Granny Smith apple. He's like, yeah, I'll fucking eat oh, it. Dude. I'll, I'll swallow all your spit. Yeah. Yeah, no, there was always those kids. But mm-hmm. So you're an okay kid just smoking weed. And it's funny that you said delinquent because I wrote delinquent in my notes. Oh, really? Like, were you a fucking delinquent? That's what I wrote in my notes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's your good. I, I don't know. I, th- I think I was So like, you're a good... Did you graduate? I did graduate. Oh, yeah. You went to college. What'd you went go to, to college, college for? Uh, film and TV. Oh. Filmed and then minor in acting. So I like that you at least... Ha- you had your direction, man. Like, you I knew f- what you were like. I like this enough to go to the study. Yeah. I, I knew I wanted to just do something like entertainment shit. I don't know what it was. But, like, my mom found a paper when I was in, like, second grade. And it was, like, you know, when you're like, what do you want to be for your job? My said comedian. Which is kind of wild. Bomb. Yeah. Kind of wild. That's awesome, though, The teacher probably grading that shit back in the day. was like, this fucking idiot. <laughs> this fool's <laughs> comedian. Shy. <laughs> they look at me and tell me a joke. Psst, you're bombing right now. But, um. <laughs> second grade. Fuck off the stage. Tell me a joke. But, uh, yeah. So, I went in undeclared. But they had, they had like, a film program there. But it's San Jose State. You know, so oh, so you went up there, okay? Yeah, okay. NorCal, baby. Um, nice, nice. My sister lives in San Jose. I've been up, I've been. I know San Jose is cool. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, it was a be- it was a good, nice jump from Camarillo to San Jose because Camarillo is like fifty, maybe sixty thousand. San Jose is a mill, so it's like, you know, you can get to a big city, and then I moved straight from San Jose to LA. So, nice. Did you finish a, school? I did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you use that degree? Not really. No. It. I met some cool people, and the reason. Uh, I made some vines where because people in my friend are like, Trevor, you got to make this shit. You got to make this shit. And then I was doing stand up in college and, you know, I had my friends support me in college and come to shows. So I think like being in a fraternity and also uh, just having a lot of friends and doing this stuff, it kind of pushed me to do more stuff. Had I not gone to college, I don't know. Had I done more stand up, what I wanted to, what I've stayed, what, you know, I, I don't really know what it would have been. But yeah, Jorge Navarro, shout out Jorge. He's the one who told me to start Vine. Really? He was like, yeah, bro, people are doing funny shit on here. You got to do it. And I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I got addicted. I was like, oh, shit, you can make funny stuff on here. And then, like, I had a I few things fun, hit. Yeah. And then after that, I was like, oh, this is this is how the internet works. Get a little snowball effect and you're good. Yeah, Vine was, was good until they just said, hey, we're fucking done with it. Yeah, I, everybody had, like, conspiracy theories. It's just weird. But, like, maybe it was like, a, and I'm not comparing it to the Chappelle show, but, like, do you think it was like a, where they're like, we got to pull it before it's too sad? Because if they let Vine run into, like, now, like, it would be so many adaptations. Yeah, it's basically... Like, t- Instagram is all over the place. Yeah, and then Instagram went, oh, Snapchat, we got to get stories. Oh, TikTok, mm-hmm. now we need reels. And Instagram is just, like, the cousin that copies you. Instagram is just literally standing up on their desk in the classroom, like, what are y'all working on? What are y'all working on? It's like, but nobody's going to remember, be like, oh, the fucking Instagram days. I think people will be like, the TikTok days, the Vine days, but Instagram, they're just like, 
bro, they're trying to make, sell shit on there. Instagram is it's like a, a Facebook bomb forum now. Like, yo, I, I make bead bead necklaces. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Every And then every app has their, like, version of TikTok now. Mm-hmm. Like, even Facebook has, like, a... Stories and shit. Well, not only that, but they have, like, a version where you can just, like, like scroll, like, vertical videos. Everybody stole that shit. Right. But Facebook has one, which is funny because it's still the Facebook demo. It's just a bunch of, like, old moms yeah. being like, uh, when your son doesn't eat his bologna sandwich that you carefully packed him, and then she just starts, like, hitting the walls, and I was like, whoa, that's aggression. Yeah. Yo, these social media's got 45-year-old moms fucking taking their clothes off with this black silhouette, and it's like, yo, yeah. your kids are in the house, bitch. Hey, but th- that OnlyFans money. I'm not even talking about OnlyFans. I'm talking about the bitches that are just doing trends on TikTok. Oh, right. Like you're saying... Yeah. That is sandwich. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> that shit. Fuck off, Tevin. I'm trying to do the renegade. Dude, it that's a real me sense up. I've heard. I don't even know what that means. The renegade? That's like the biggest dance on TikTok. That was like the I one. I get on TikTok and watch crazy things and hop off. I don't I don't TikTok might. has some cool like uh like the the you ever you go on it a lot? I just go on there, but my shit's like World Star Fight Comp. Yeah, I, I have random like really random like subreddits i either love like super not reddit what am i saying like super random like recommend like like my favorite tiktoks are like uh redneck tiktok or prison tiktok you ever seen the, the tiktoks from prison yeah. bro they're like <laughs> innovative as hell it's not even that it's like yo you're getting time added motherfucker you have an account <laughs> oh, my man, friend had his fucking that. had his phone in jail <laughs> and he called me uh-huh. and the next day i fucking get message somebody else like he got five months added for that phone like <sighs> yeah but if you post a video that pops off, <laughs> you know, you know five months, we went viral. I get it. I get it. If you're in prison, like, yo, but my video's popping more than yours. Right. They got nothing to do. But it's like crazy. Like, dude, I went down like a, like a, was it rabbit hole? Yeah. Uh-huh. But like, I watched this guy. He, he was making like prison food, but like. Gourmet. But like, but it was like, it was like mind blown. I've seen that guy. Yeah. But he, but he was doing like everything you could think of. And then like how they would do it in jail. It's kind of crazy. Dude. Um, I mean. Won't get crazy into it, but I know a lot of prison shit, and the stuff that they do in there is fucking unbelievable. Most what? Talent, so people can make anything out of anything. Oh, right, right, right. It's almost fucking funny. Yeah, well, you know what's funny is, like, you watch a show Chopped, and they're like, oh, I'll make a lasagna with a fucking sketcher shoot, and you're like, bro, they can make this shit in jail out of imagination. What the <laughs> yeah. fuck are you doing on Chopped? <laughs> yes. Chopped is literally just white people in jail being like, you know, what uh, if you had to use a platypus? Shut up. Best compa- I watched, I've, I've watched almost every episode of Chopped during the pandemic. Chopped is great. And I understand, and that's the best comparison uh, ever. It's white like, people prison TikTok. Uh-huh. But it they is. get paid at the end. Uh, right, but, but, but it's like, it's like like it's not even that crazy it's it's not it's right. never it use never construction is. paper in this burger like oh, i was fucking wrapping it i don't yeah. know but jail the, the ones in jail are like crazy because they're making it's like they use coffee creamer as milk and then they can make ice cream and it's just, well, they get the dye off this to to, to put food dye bro, i saw how shit. this dude was making tattoos and he was like burning a cup and then using the ashes then like poking it in there yeah it, to like, get the colors yeah yeah my stepdad he told me a lot of shit he showed me a lot of stuff the tattoo yeah. tattoo needles in there are fucking Mind blowing. It's MacGyver shit. These fools are making stuff out of springs from pens and then counterweights that makes it go. Wow. It's amazing. Very innovative. It's great. I mean, all you have yourself outside. All you have is time in there and just imagination. So you can kind of figure shit out, you know. That and a bunch of dudes like, yo, keep your dick away from me, man. Yeah, I but your dick away from me. I feel like even that is kind of a stereotype. Or no, no, I'm just saying, not like getting fucking. You know, let's just not get demonetized. All right? Let's just not get demonetized. Just make the thumbnail, and you won't get demonetized. Just make an Oz thumbnail for us. Right? Yeah, we ruined a really great episode going down that path before. <laughs> the most wholesome episode we ever did, and then for some reason we brought up fucking prison stuff, and then we got to age restricted immediately. Oh damn! Yeah, because you were talking about it earlier or before we even started. Because you do this, it's uh, Stiff Socks, right? Yes, that's your podcast. That's my podcast. Yeah. When did you start that? Uh, work. We're three years in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good shit. We've been doing it for a while. It's just like podcast takes so long to, you know, it's like, it's like, uh, it's such a brick by brick process, but the bricks are made out of Nabisco cookies and it's like, you're trying to build it. It's like, it's such a small, and I thought since I had like a million followers at the time, I'd be like, oh, everybody will switch over. And then they're like, no, we just want like a quick two minute sketch. And then Mm -hmm. some people are like, let me check it out. Let me check it out. But after, you know, it's, it's all about consistency. You know, if you do a podcast and you're like, okay, well, we're not going to do this week or sorry, it's running late this week. It's like, we got a great producer and my co-host is also like very on. Cause if it was just me, I'd be like, I'm, I just like, if I don't see results immediately, I'm like, all right, on to the next, that's not working. Boom. What's next. But he's like, you know, like trust it, faith in it. And now I love doing it, but it is a, uh, it's a lot of work as, as you know, and, 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 you know, probably trying to transfer over it. 
But uh, it's cool because you feel like if somebody comes up to you and they're like, I love your sketches. You're like, oh, thanks a lot, man. That's very nice of you. But then they're like, yo, I listen to the podcast. It's a whole new level of appreciation. Mm-hmm. You're like, damn, you fuck with me on just you like dedicated a, hours. Right. On a day to day. Yeah. They know you. They know you like crazy. Like I've had somebody come up to me and be like, how was the dentist last week? And I'm like, that's an insane thing to say on the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the dentist was saying, fine. I yeah. know you. Yeah, exactly. So how's yeah. the dentist? I, I forget what the question was, but uh just didn't know how long you've been doing it. Oh, three years. Yeah, three, yeah, three years. years. Three years. Yeah. Right, so who's your co-host? Michael Blaustein. He's just a guy I met through stand up. He was from New York, lives out here now. But yeah, we just, we do that. We tour together a lot. Uh, How often do you do the show? Uh, weekly. Yeah, every weekly? Wednesday. Yeah, we record so every on every Wednesday like, at what time does it come out? Uh, it's usually just like one of those, like when you're, when you're up. Oh, it's okay. like, yeah, gotcha. our producer, we, yeah, we shoot Mondays. He edits Tuesday and then he kind of just clicks send at like three in the morning to post mm-hmm. on everything. But yeah, it'll be it'll be up every Wednesday. Yeah, nice, but man. YouTube, Spotify, Apple. Yeah, so it's called the Stiff Socks Podcast. Stiff Socks Podcast. Yeah, it was great. It's just like two dudes. It's literally just what you would hear like two fourteen year olds talking about if their parents were out of town. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just good, <laughs> good energy, man. We had, we I like that description. Well, also when you, when you guys reached out for, to, to have me on this show, I saw you know we we you had Stevo, we had Stevo. So it's like I saw you've had some some really cool people, man, and it's like. It's crazy. We don't do a lot of interview type stuff, but every once in a while, when you do an interview, it's like it's cool to be like, "Oh damn, we get." Oh, it's just you two back, uh, but just back and forth. Oh no shit! I mean, as you know, probably booking a new guest every week. Man, fuck it. Job, yeah, yeah. It's a full time job. And not only that, you're starting chemistry. It's like you guys have great chemistry, but then you got to start chemistry with somebody new every week. Yeah. Also, if it doesn't work, it like didn't fucking work, and we wouldn't be friends. Mm-hmm. And that's yeah. fine. I'm cool with that shit. That's yeah. Cool, you ever been like five minutes into an interview and be like, Ugh, "That's gonna be a long one." Right now, not yet. We've locked no, out. Not yet. <laughs> no, I was like, we have not yet. You said you lo- oh locked We've out. Locked out. I thought you said <laughs> you logged out. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're like we're good. Yeah. yeah. No, we just fucking leave. Just yeah. turns the cameras off. <laughs> I keep- bet Joe Rogan said that though, because he recorded for like three weeks. He records just, for three. What do you mean? No, just straightforward. Just like, oh yeah, some of our shows are just four be, fucking hours. Oh yeah. Bro, so well, that's I that feel, weed right there. Yeah, yeah, it's that. That is definitely that, the yeah, weed and that getting <laughs> fucked up during the show. Yeah, yeah. I, we, we got drunk for a few episodes. We did. We got drunk for like hundredth episode. Got really hammered for that. I don't remember the show ending. Same, same. Nice. Here. I got blackout drunk one episode with his, when his mom came on. Oh yeah, my mom. Came oh on. yeah, was I she just drunk? Talk shit. No, my mom just really drink. I just uh, talk mad shit to her for four hours. Yeah. Really? Blue smoke in her She's face. just not even here and you're talking <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, she's watching right she's now. She's a recurring shit. character. She watches everything. Oh, uh, so. my parents watch a lot of stuff I do too. Yeah, the so podcast was one where my mom's like, I'm going to support you on everything, but maybe not the podcast. I was like, that's fine. You're talking I mean, about it's, a bunch of wild, wild shit. It's just horrendous. Like, just a lot. Of, it's just a lot about sexual shit, whores. You know, whores, whores. <laughs> no, I got a girlfriend who was very nice, and I love her. But, um, but it is just like it's not like a disclaimer. Yeah, of course. So, baby, if you're watching, no, but it's but it is just a bunch of like fucking. You ever had that, or what about when you know? But it, it's just not. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a male caller daddy type of thing. Fuck maybe it. that's cool. So if you know what, as long as you know what you want, man. That's really the yeah, thing. Yeah, we stumbled into it. We started with like a format that we thought was going to hit. And then we just, it just wasn't like, we were like, let's go out and do an activity and we'll go skydiving. Then we'll talk about it. And then we realized we had a lot of, we had to plan too much. Mm-hmm. There's lots of full two days. It's, oh yeah. It's like, all right, for recording Tuesday, Monday, we got to do a thing. And then we'd film it and then we'd try to like edit a vlog Oof, such to go a commitment. with it. Oh my God. In hindsight, it sounds like a great Adderall idea. You're like, yo, it's like a, it's a, because people will watch for the vlog, but then they'll stay for the podcast. And it was this whole like entrepreneurship we thought we were on. And then it turned out people just liked us riffing, just going back and back. Cause we, yeah, we'd talk for like 40 minutes and then we'd be like, oh fuck, we should probably talk about the, you know, the pier in Santa Monica we went to. I was like, nobody gives a fuck. Got you. So that's, that's cool though. You, it's trial and error. Yeah. And it's like, it's your show. You can change the shit to whatever. You can just press stop right now. But like, I have to go to the bathroom. Fuck you. That's Literally, fine. Do whatever the hell you want. Yeah, it's cool. But that's what was cool about it. And not like, you know, if I've tried to pitch some stuff and around like do the Hollywood route stuff, but it's like, you know, you, if you want to just, you can't just stop. You can't like, it's like, there's so many people involved in this and that, but with the podcast space, it's just like, it's me co-host and our producer, Gabe. And we're just like a little trio. It's like, whatever we want to do. It's pretty neat. So. It's the best thing. It's just me and Marty. So it's yeah, it's, it's the best way. To whatever do we want to fucking do, man. Mm-hmm. It's really fun as long as you do yeah. shit that fans will like, and if we like it, that's what matters. Yeah, if you're genuinely excited about it, then they'll be like, "Look, he likes it. We like it. 
fuck it. Yeah. Because you always got to remember, like, when someone makes a trash song, like, no one's going to like, like, I guarantee you someone's going to fucking like it out there. You'll have one guy that right. appreciates the shit, and that's all that matters. What bro. I heard from somebody is as long as you're not losing followers, that's good. Like, like try on air, you know? Some people might comment and be like, yo, this shit was mid, whatever. But as long as at the end of the day, you're still, like, either, you know, same place where you left off or, like, slightly higher, you're doing okay. That's just a good way to look at it. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's hard not to value your last thing meaning your your whole worth like if my last video bombed it's hard for me to not be like oh my whole career is bombing you're like well but that's a content creator thing though man yeah that's the, the brain behind like oh right. is my shit fucking sucking right now you're just it like could be the best video ever right and you go oh it's shadow man oh you made me feel like an asshole for two hours fuck you right because you're just basically going on like this is the current what i'm putting out right now is a current me you know, as good as your yeah. best is your last uh, project right. yeah correct bro I, I fucking get it. i used to do a thing on instagram like i was telling you before my top three pictures when you scroll like no they got to be the best ones yeah so when you see it it's like a fucking ad of like oh this yeah is tight. you get like in the mind of the consumer you're like if somebody goes onto my page they need to see this, this and this I, and this yeah because if i saw it, I'm like who is this guy this is fucking right. awesome no, i get it mm -hmm. i totally understand I, i've struggled through that shit for fucking years man mm -hmm. like i guess i was doing instagram skits for fucking five years straight doing nothing else but that but that's how i built the fall, I mean, like you, man, you've been doing these skits for how, how long you've been doing just the skits online? Uh, not counting Vine since like 2017. Oh, the, the ones for your YouTube channel? Yeah, I started posting on my YouTube in like 2017. Yeah, dude, see? I delete a lot of the early ones because they're mid as hell, but yeah. You know? <laughs> but, but yeah, it's like I, my goal was just like when I moved out here, I was like, let me just try and do a video once a week, one, one video a week. And then after a couple, maybe like a year and a half, almost two years, one finally hit and like 2018 ish and then i was like oh all right let's keep throwing fucking wood on the fire you know we got some heat let's keep going good shit man yeah. do you really write those out or do you kind of just have a loose idea and go out and film it and it's about half and half you mm -hmm. know sometimes we'll go out with something that's just like a very loose premise and be like oh this is kind of like kirby enthusiasm they're just like there's one end goal let's try to just here's the way there here's a story for the scene let's do that but sometimes i'll write a few lines just to uh it's like a soft skeleton yeah, exactly. Just give us a route and kind of a thought process to like follow it after. Nice. It's, ex it's exactly how we do this shit. But yeah, it's just, it's that. more fun. It's just like so hard for me to just sit down and be like, oh, what is funny? You know, I just feel like a I know, fucking, I feel, I feel like some idiot in a coffee shop being like, Haha, this is what the people want. But it's like all the best lines that I've said and all the lines that people quote hey, and all the, yeah. Every it's, fucking it's just what the you almost impress yourself. The brain spits them out. You're like, uh -huh. oh, there'll be sometimes where I say, "Fuck, well, Marty, yo, keep yeah. that shit." Yeah, and I'm like, you I got that, that, you got that, you got that, you got that. Yeah, yep. but that's the shit because it's like you're excited about it. It's not, and uh, yeah, I don't know. You, it's just like you're in that zone, and then you're just saying the shit that you think that that person or that character, whatever it might be, would say, and then it just feels uh it feels like you, you like uh, I don't even know. It just feels right instead of like being just sitting in a room, and be like, is this funny? You know, I, I'll, I'll, I'll write as much as I can in the room just to kind of get the wheel going. But the, the best stuff is out in the field, I think. What's up, guys? Just taking a moment real quick to thank one of our sponsors. This is Manscaped. If you've been watching the show for a long time, Manscaped has been here since almost the beginning. But this is a new beginning. This is 2022. It's January. Start your balls off fresh. It's never going to get old. Thank you, guys. Before we move on, let me get right into it. www.manscaped.com forward slash YOLO. That's 20% off plus free shipping. New year, new you, not gross. So the performance package, that's an all-in-one, all right? That has the lawnmower 4.0, that has the weed whacker, which is the nose trimmer, ball toner, ball deodorant for those that need it, the travel bag, and it comes with the underwear. That is the ultimate gift box. Just hand it to your husband and say, do better. Or show it to your wife and say, yeah, you're welcome. So once again, guys, if this interests you whatsoever, and also, like I said, it really helps us. If you guys are going to buy Manscaped, use our code. Marty and I appreciate it. It helps the show. So once again, www.manscaped.com forward slash YOLO. That's 20% off of anything, even if you buy one thing, and then free shipping. Remember, 2 million customers can't be wrong, and 4 million balls can't be wrong. What's up, guys? Just wanted to take a quick moment to talk about one of our sponsors. This is FanDuel. FanDuel Sportsbook. It's an app that you can legally bet on the, your favorite teams or maybe your not favorite team. You just want to win some money. Right now, if you go download the FanDuel Sportsbook app, use code DOPE as usual, your odds for winning whatever you bet are 30 to 1 odds. Please, when you download the app, 
Go through it. It shows you every single state that it's legal. Sports betting is not legal in every state. So make sure you're in a legal state before you start. Also, for everyone out there, it's just like anywhere else. You got to be 21 and over. And yes, guys, we understand that this episode comes out on Monday and the game's just passed, but we're not filming this Monday and we don't know who won yet. Me, being a Packer fan, I am so excited. The last time I watched a Packers Niners playoff game, I was eating milk duds, eating bologna sandwiches with my grandpa on 6th Street. And also, just say it real quick, Packers in the playoffs, the Bills are in the playoffs. It could be a Bills-Packers Super Bowl. If, say, you have the FanDuel Sportsbook, talk, talk to your friend next to you. Say, hey, download it. If your friend downloads it with a referral from you, you get 50 bucks. The person that downloaded it, your friend gets 50 bucks. All right? FanDuel Sportsbook is giving a lot of deals to our fans. So if you've ever wanted to do any sports betting, take advantage of it right now. Playoffs are here. 30 to 1 odds. $5 can get you 150 With that being said, shout out to FanDuel Sportsbook. Thank you for teaming up with the podcast. Back to the episode. Question. When you're falling asleep, mm-hmm. is that where you find your ideas? Uh, As I'm about to pass out, I wake up and fucking write. Okay. Things. I was just wondering for when you do skits and shit, are you in the fucking bathroom? Are you driving and go, hey, write this down? For yeah. Me? That's what I do a lot. It's uh, it's sometimes, it, well, it's, a, it's a lot of like observational stuff that I'll see. Or I'll be talking to somebody and I'll be like, dude, I saw this fucking guy on the way to the right airport down. today. And he's just, and I was like, oh, wait, I got to write that down. All right, and then it's an, yeah, it, it's like oftentimes I'll like say, and as I'm saying it, I have to hear myself to be like, oh, dude, that's, such, that's a character right there. Uh, but yeah, my notes app on my phone is just just Same flooded thing. with flooded. shit flooded with some decent sun it's all over the place but yeah that's what it is it's you ever like, go through and go you're f- not funny sometimes oh uh, bro <laughs> i do this you're like bro, are you fucking kidding or me i'll be I'm like fuck? i'll be like okay i'm in town for three days i need to make a video this week and i'll look at my ideas and i'm like what it, uh, huh i thought this was funny at one point or i'll get ideas if i uh you know if i'm just like if I, if I go to the gym or something, because my brain's just, I'm not talking to anybody, but I'm like doing an activity. I'm lifting weights. You're kind of zoned out, but I don't really be going to the gym that much. So, but sometimes I'll be like, I need to be creative. Go to the gym. Then however you feel after the gym, you feel like all creative and shit. I fuck with that. So it's, yeah, it's all over. It's just, they're, they're literally all around. I mean, you drive around one block in Los Angeles and you'll be like, I got four videos. <laughs> I got four See, videos, thing, bro. The thing I really liked what you do is, like you said, you were in a character. It's now, it's like, what would that motherfucker think? Right. That, I've never done that before. I fucking uh-huh. love that, dude. Yeah, it just, it adds a lot it's more. another layer. Yeah. Yeah, because then you can go like, okay, what does this person wear? Where would they be living? You know? I did one in Denver the other day because we were doing shows out there. And it was just like, all right, we're in Denver. What type of people live in Denver? What do they wear? What's the environment? And then people scrolling are like, oh, shit. You know, I made so many videos in my apartment, in my house. People are just like, man, I've seen this before. But when they see you in a different setting, they're like, oh, what's this? Yeah. You know, I had like a mullet and I'm in Colorado. People <laughs> are going to be like, whoa, oh, oh, shit. This is something new. So I think it's a fun way to keep it fresh. And also it's like, uh, you know, sometimes I'll, if I'm trying to write it, I'll like put the costume on or whatever it is. Just to, <laughs> You're just to an feel. actor, bro. That's just to really feel what this, this but, but, is. But like, that's like the most, that was like, great. that's like I, the I most level I'll go. I'll just be like, all right. Look at this fucking dumb outfit. And I'll be looking in the mirror and be like, all right, what, what would this guy say? What would the, how would this guy, what do you listen to? But, I, you know, I went to acting school and all that shit where they, like, tell you this. They'll be like, this is how you find a character. What would they listen to? What would they eat? Oh, okay. You know, what, what's their their fantasy? What's their fucking, what kind of dirt bike do they have? Is it a Vespa? It's like, you know, it's like, you just picture this person as a whole. Then it makes it super easy to write for that person. And I say that as you get the whole fucking characteristic, it's like talking about your friend. Like, no, that fool's an idiot. And he throws up every right. drinks. Exactly. But let's talk. Let's talk. Then right. write it, I get it. That's exactly. cool. Exactly. Because those little traits bring out so much more detail. Then if you're like, it was like, oh, it's a 25-year-old uh, who's lazy and unmotivated. You're like, okay, that's so vague. But if you're like, it's a 25-year-old who can tell you the narrative of every episode of Angry Beavers. You'll be like, oh, this motherfucker got stories, you know? <laughs> so it's like that little detail, you, like it, it says so much about somebody. And that's even, you know, the jokes in there too. Be like, oh, this dude listens to Alien Ant Farm. That's his oh, favorite band. shit. And you're like, but you hear that, right? And I know what that guy does. He's wearing a tracksuit. Yeah, he's on- <laughs> I know that guy. He's on the FBI Wanted list as well. <laughs> but like you hear- yeah. That's why specifics are so important because you, you say something and it like it, it you feel you feel something when I said alien ant farm you feel something when you say like I saw this right, the guy exactly. on the guitar on the yeah. fucking steps yeah. the concrete yeah that's yeah. all I saw so you can picture that it's so much more than like oh he's a twenty five year old rock or whatever so it's like I'll picture that but like, what did you listen to and that's half the jokes right there you the can, guy that lives at home and he only studies NFTs like yeah I got it we know this guy. I get it now yeah I this, understand yeah, it's a this, setup exactly I love that man. but it just that helped a lot shit oh yeah dude it just clarifies. Cool. 
And if anybody's listening and, and they're in, on the creator space, it just helps like really, it sounds corny and cliche to be like, what do they eat for breakfast? What are they? But that, that like you're writing the jokes when you're, because a lot of the funny is just the reality of it. You know, if I did a, just like a shitty, like, I don't even know, like just like a shitty type of person character. And you're like, oh, this dude eats Slim Jims for breakfast. You're oh. like, I know this guy. Yeah. Instead of being like, you know, it just, it helps really, uh. No, I totally understand. Yeah. It's like watching it's it's watching a movie and the guy wakes up and still has his shoes on and he threw up like, yo, this guy's going to be bad. Uh, yeah, exactly. No, I get it. I get it. That's cool, man. I know. Well, you went to acting school. That's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. That's sick. But yeah, so like in college, I feel like I didn't really learn that. That was all like stuff I learned out here, I think. But it, I mean, I don't know. If you go to college, great. You meet a lot of cool people. Uh, I think if you don't go to college and you want to, but you don't. I'll say this. You can just get the same cool experience, but like move somewhere else. You know, you don't need to go to yeah. college, but like move your somewhere hometown, else. Bro, just feel it out. It's never going to, you're always going to be like, yo, no, you're not like that. Yeah. So why just, are you doing that? That's not you. Like, well, you also you change. It'll be hard to challenge yourself in your hometown because it's easy to fall into oh, your man. own. Be like, no, oh, man, I'm good. Yeah, comfort yeah, zone. Yeah, I just showed yeah. him the guy that never left his hometown. I literally yeah. just showed him the shit. Yeah. <laughs> it's bro, dead on. No, so much nostalgia. Like, dude, the, stop. That was written about Oh my guy. fucking uh, god That's everybody I know That still yeah. likes football It's like You're the football coach now Yeah <laughs> I know And it's just like Sick It's just so easy to and, and maybe they like it But it's so easy To just convince your brain To be like This works for me I got a girl She works at fucking oh. Yolanda's I got a fucking Two year old And I'm coaching JV ping pong So things are looking up <laughs> Oh god That's exactly if The thing is You just embody Eight fucking people That I know Right it's Like yo I just, yep. I, I couldn't imagine wanting to teach like football bad enough to want to, to where you're like, yeah, you can teach football, but you also have to teach history class. You're like, you got to really love football, love football to learn about the Gulf Coast War. You also, know? what a bad education system that the fucking jock is like, no, you teach yeah. geography now. Right. Yeah. But it is weird because there's like <laughs> actual people who went to college to be like, I want to study geography. And they're like, cool. We well, have to beat out Glenn. Who's Glenn? Okay, well, he's the guy reversing that fucking Mazda Miata <laughs> blasting music. Uh, that's and, real. And, he, yeah. and he's a softball coach. But it's like, I went to school for geography. This motherfucker just likes softball. Yeah. How are those two ever in the same world? Small town shit. But that's, isn't that's that, what it that's is. That's crazy. No, that's true, though. But none of the coaches ever like taught like trigonometry. No, it was sex ed, my coach. Fuck you. Really? Yeah, it was like my football coach was the sex ed teacher. That's like that's the easy shit you could have done. Fucking talk about. STDs. Yeah, but they didn't. They didn't get into the nitty gritty. Oh, they did. I was like, "Where's the clit at? Somebody show me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help me out here. I'm 27. I still don't know where the useful. shit is. Yeah. yeah, but but that was. I don't. I think they just try to use sex ed to like scare you. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. My, uh, the lady who taught us sex ed, she uh, Miss Rwanda. Damn. Damn. Yeah, she was. Uh, she was intense. She, I just. She's she, an intense uh, name for a sex ed teacher. Yeah. Well, she. Uh, I'm just trying to like she had really short hair and she'd like she she old white lady yeah old white lady Miss Adams short, really old, she, she like the lady from uh, I don't Incredibles know. that makes the suits but I don't know. <laughs> yeah I don't know if this makes sense but she talked like a crow like some about her like like it was very like poignant it was like bah she'd be like and then you're gonna do ha huh? and it kind of sounded like a ka she was intense but she was the one but that's what why like sex ed yeah that's but why like, I like sex ed dude my Spanish teacher she was pretty cool Miss Zyler she had a uh, she had a she had a really soft voice and she would lose her voice a lot. So she'd wear like a, like a Ricky Martin headset and she had a, Shut the I swear to God, she had, and then she had like a speaker box on her waist and she would like turn it up. That's, that's kind of tight. tight that yeah. Really. And one day I went to school high one day. I was like, bro, this is fucking lit. It's just kind of hard. I was man. like, put some on. Dude, put some on. <laughs> but yeah, that was a, uh, so you know, Spanish very little. I can tell you library. That's about it. Okay. I got kicked out of Spanish class. Really? Yeah. Cause they were like, you only speak Spanish in this class. I'm like, but bitch, it's the first day. She's like, but you have to speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, but I don't understand what you're saying. Are you not fluent? No, only one in my family. Really? Yeah. I was going to say, when... Everyone else does. What? Everybody in your family speaks Spanish, but you didn't? Oh, uh, my mom raised me, and like my dad's whole side speaks Spanish. So okay. I'm the only one. All my cousins, my I little brothers and sisters that my dad had, all speak Spanish. How, how many white kids were like cheating off your paper, and you're like, I don't fucking know either? <laughs> oh, I got kicked out day two. Really, my white friends Ethan, shout out to Ethan, is fluent. So he's really? sitting there like, "You need help?" I'm like, bro, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get kicked out. And That's, I got her, and she kicked. How did you get out. kicked out? Start speaking French and, and like, shut the fuck. shit. I'm like, I'm not gonna say shit in, in Spanish because, bitch, teach me first. I ain't call right. her bitch. Right. But she was hell pretty, and that made me feel weird. Mm-hmm. My Spanish teacher, I'm like, 
I feel weird talking shit to you. And then she made me stay after. She goes, what can I do to get you out of my fucking class? And really? Like, Just sign You're the like, paper. How bitch. are you telling me that? You run shit. You can right? get me out. She didn't have no hope for me, man. Wow. I don't know Spanish still. So I, when I go to Mexico, I'm just, they spit on me. They're being really? brown and not speaking Spanish. Dude, that's crazy. It's always a disappointment. That's crazy how many people tried to like cheat off you probably day one. And you're like, dog, I don't fucking. You're just drawing that one S all the kids used to draw. Well, everybody's in my town's Mexican. <laughs> oh, I'm, Mexican. I'm the only brown kid that don't know Spanish. So if you speak, are you allowed to take Spanish class if you speak English fluent? speakers? Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's a, uh, it's uh, Spanish fluent Spanish. So it's fucking advanced as shit. Oh, oh, because it's separate, right? It's like, is this right? Like maybe the, there's like some of the vowels where it's like, I don't fucking know. Bro. I don't know. I think there's like, if you speak, it's like, it's like you could be fluent, but the, the way they teach it in school, it has more vowels or something like that. I have no idea. Yeah. I know there's fucking trash Spanish and there's mm -hmm. real Spanish. Okay. And my grandma and grandpa speak both. So I don't fucking know the difference. I don't talk to any of my cousins or aunts or uncles. Bro. Yeah, I, I took two years to that. But I do remember I went to class high one day. I, I smoked before school like twice. And one one of them was Spanish. And I could barely hold it in seeing Mrs. Isla with a goddamn fucking boom box on her waist. <laughs> I was like, please don't call on me. Oh, my God. See, see, I was doing fucking lines in class and shit. I was a fucking piece of shit. Oh, damn. Yeah, I was a just getting coked up shit. for fucking. All my white homies. So coke, like it was like always. It's like on the pad, you just hand it back. Really, what grade is this? Ten, tenth or eleventh? <sighs> but it's more sad, man. Yeah, we're doing not meth, so it's fucking great. There you go. You know, what I'm it's all yeah. just not meth. Honestly, if I was a teacher and I saw kids doing coke, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be like, hell yeah, now y'all fucking pay attention. You know, you know what I would do? I go, bro, stop. <laughs> what <laughs> yeah. the fuck are you thinking? Yeah, because now that I think back, I'm a fucking moron. I was getting fucked up and selling hella drugs at school. Yeah. But it's also, like I said, it's also said. So entrepreneurship, if you think about it's it. True. I mean, I saw weed almost my whole damn life and it turned into this. Mm -hmm. So I'm fucking fine with it. So yeah. 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 I mean, you're making business. You're just learning how to do like taxes and shit. I just pay this guy now. Exactly. I tried to do it once and I'm, I, I should pay attention in math class. Man. Yeah, I don't even think they taught us that though. They taught me numbers. They yeah. can't teach you how to flip a fucking well, like an eighth into a, where we are today, basically. Right? That's true. They can't <laughs> do that. I, I, they're just like, what if we did division but longer? It's long division day. Yeah. Like, what the fuck does that even mean? I missed long division day in fourth grade. Did you? I still don't know how to do it. That's one of the things we brought up. Recently. He's got a photographic memory. He means yeah, that to shit. the max, yeah. like scary photographic. It's just one day at your school. Well, I missed the first steps oh. for one day. And Isn't I went that back crazy? And I, I didn't feel... I felt you'd be stupid, three pages though. away from everybody else, and you're like, duh. That's how I felt. That's Hold why I, college. I stopped college because of that. Really? I missed two days of algebra. I went, yeah. I'll come back next year. Isn't that crazy? Or you'll just like pick up your head, and you're like, you're four pages ahead, and you're like... Do Dude, college not for me, man. So for college, for you, you went to a frat. How did you get in? Uh, Was it one of those TV? Yeah, have you ever college? heard of the elephant walk? So we all get naked and you hold each other's shafts. No, that's not true. That's a real thing. That's not real. I swear to God. That, you must get this school all. fucking canceled. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't. I was fucking with you. I was just, you know, oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I'm trying to think. The next thing you're going to say is to save it. No, that's like, a dude, our, our shit. It's San Jose. I think if you went to like a, a big football school, like Arizona or, you know, yeah. anywhere in the South, that's where the hazing is insane. Ours was just drinking and like. Sleep deprivation, like, and then you oh, just had to clean the shit. house a bunch of shit, you know. Just oh, like, you had to do no wild shit. Good, not nah, really, no. Nah. So I have one friend that did a frat, and he told me yeah. what they did. I go, I would have fought everybody in the room. Yeah, you think that, that, but you're like, you're, you're, you're like so in it. You all, it's like you just want, like, it's. I don't even know. It's like you see these guys on the campus. They're getting bitches. They got a cool frat house. They're just the man. The guys just drinking natty lights on Tuesday at like noon, and you're like. Lights. It's a gang, basically. Let's yeah, well, you're just like, I want this life so yeah. bad that, like, if if a random guy in the street was like, yo, do 20 push-ups and then shotgun this four loco, you'd be like, all right, a <laughs> little aggressive. I'll try it, right? I'll but, try it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I might burp after throw up. Yeah. But when you're in this frat mentality, you're like, it's like, the, it's not brainwashing, but, like, you, it's just very, like, they sell it. And you're like, do you want to be a part of this or what, dude? Damn. So you say you'd like beat people's ass. And there was a few people that dropped at the last second because we had hell week because it was an eight week process. And then week seven to eight was that was the one where they fuck you up while going to school. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> dude, oh. dude, this this and like we had like 40 people in a like pledge class, like the group that like of our freshmen that were about to. And I think like four of them dropped out last week because they, they were on that where they're just like, nah, fuck this. 
I, but I get it, bro. It's like, you're trying to figure out like engineering school and then trying to maintain like a normal life. You got a girlfriend. You like, Alex pulls his dick out on you. Yeah, exactly. And you're like, <laughs> what do you mean? I have to eat salt and pepper off this it's not even a <laughs> diet. So dude, they, they, they blacked out the windows and they took our phones. So you have no idea what time it is. Okay. And you're just cleaning the house nonstop drunk. And then they would be like, Trevor, you have class right now. And then they throw you to class. And then they would like, then they would like, they would have people check up on you. You know how lecture halls had like one little window in the, in the door. And if they caught you sleeping, they we had the in same class. Yeah. Well, because like during this week, nobody had sleep. So I, all the kids are sleep deprived. Right. So they're taking off time to go. Hey, that motherfucker fell asleep. He's out. Yeah. Because Whoa. then, because, well, no, no, they wouldn't kick you out, but then they'd come back and be like, yo, Trevor was asleep in lecture. And because of that, you guys are only as strong as your weakest link. More punishment. So, I mean, they could be lying or whatever the fuck, but, like, this is all mental. This is all mental games to be, like, you know, fucking... So, if you pass all this, you just go... You're allowed to the parties. You're just in the fret, yeah. So, if, you, if you're not in the fret, you can't go to their parties? Unless mm. you're a girl, basically? Yeah. I can see the appeal of some <laughs> people wanting to go to these parties. Well, it's like, it. dude, you, you get hooked. You, you buy into the lifestyle. It's like... You know, at first, like, I, I think any bu- person would, like, see CrossFit and be like, these fucking idiots with man buns. And then you go to a few glasses and you're like, I get it. I get it. You know? So, I, I, am I comparing a frat to a CrossFit? Maybe. But I think. Same shit. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's one of those where, like, because even my roommate at the time in college, uh, I think he might have been. He was close to Merced. I forget. He was from a city out there. But he was like, I'm not doing all that shit. That sounds whack. And then, like, he saw what I went through and then the parties I was going to. And he's like, you know what? I'll check it out. And then the second semester he ended up joining, but he wasn't like a dude who you'd think would be like on that shit either. But he's like, honestly sucks. It's the way you put it is it's the worst time you never, it's, it's the best time you never want to have again. I think. Wow. Cause it's like, it, it's a fucked up me though. Yeah. No Camaro though. Yeah, no Camaro or, you know, <laughs> bad first marriage. It's all good. Yeah. Dude, God. I don't know what it is about Army dudes. Like, yo, I need to marry the girl I met tonight. Well, isn't it, <laughs> isn't it fucking, what is that? Is that, don't, don't you get more money? or, or You get more ta- money as a, as a married person, but also you're attached to somebody. But, bro, military wives be cheating. All day. They be cheating. That's like the number Before one they thing. even get out of the car, they're like, oh, all right. <laughs> it's sad and true. I know, bro. <laughs> and they're like doing the highest form of like honor. They're fighting for a country and you're fighting for a guy named Brock's cock. You know, it's just not. <laughs> it's not. sad, bro. But thing is, if you're a military dude and you cheat on your wife and you get caught in those, uh, in the, like, you know, the towns that they have like apartments for people that live that are not oh. at war and they come back. You lose rank. You can lose some of your pay. Really? You ca- oh, fuck yeah. Did you know that? No, if you get know. caught cheating your wife in the military, they, you can lose your fucking rank. Wow. Insane, bro. But the other way around, it's like, no, no. She's taking care of your kid. Yeah, well, <laughs> there, there was that like one famous like photo that went around. The girl, she like did a porn after. She was seen in the same, was blonde. did you ever see that? Uh-uh. It was a blonde chick. She was wearing like a green shirt and she's like with her man before he deploys. And then she's like on a porn set wearing a green, like the same t shirt. You, you can look like it the up. The day he fucking left, basically. Oh, bro, straight after. Straight after. She still had the parking validation for the military base oh on her car windshield. <laughs> yeah, bro, it's like a pretty big meme if you like, or, or like a photo of just something, but like this blonde shit. Yeah, she was, she was hot. It's amazing. I, yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Some of the wrong people to cheat on, too. Now you got some right. back from war, train killer. Yeah, and shit. cheat on like a fucking salesman or something. Maybe a <laughs> substitute a teacher. Well, salesman be like, I got to go to Atlanta for a conference. You're like, cool, I'm going <laughs> to fuck the neighbors. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's crazy. I, I, yeah, I don't. Military life has got to be so hard on the mental life. Everybody I've ever imagine. talked to you goes, bro, I wish I never went. Really? Yeah. But I mean, I'd rather work at McDonald's. Yeah, then go to the fucking McDonald's army. is so fucking loud. I they hate always have it. so Did many you goddamn. There? No, no, no. But I like, there sucked. Oh really? What were all those goddamn beeping noises? Like, okay, it sounded like you were landing a crash like spaceship. Everlasting gobstopper <laughs> from Willy Wonka. Remember okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, exactly what the machine. There's just sounds. always that one like sound. It's like it's almost like teeter, it's like teeter sounds like. That's the meat. Is it? Yeah, it's time to fucking put it. I would be so. I'm the only person that didn't speak Spanish. I just got shit on. Really. Every fucking day, like no, like you touched it because nobody wants to do the meat. What's You're wrong with the meat? Fucking sitting there, pouring sweat, yeah. and then when you open it up, the grease hits your face, so you are automatically all like in trays. Sticky. Like I was sticky shocked to find out that McDonald's use real eggs. They crack them in the circle and shit. That's true. 
It's a, it comes out of a, of a cup. It comes out of a milk oh, carton. God. I've seen them bunch. loading that shit into McDonald's on a pallet. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a big carton. Egg or whatever? It's liquid egg. You put it in a circle and you just pour it. God, TikTok yeah, got me. Yeah, TikTok got you. Bro. Like, that's <laughs> not true. Yeah, not true. <laughs> you also think TikTok would like hire some kid, big? Like, yeah, you work at McDonald's now. Shut up. Here's fifty dollars. Use a real egg. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> I can see that. You know, TikTok is just taking over Earth right now. It really is. But it's okay. Did you? Uh, would you hook up your homies when they come through McDonald's, or were you just you didn't even tell anybody? Um, no, there is no hooking up. Really? At McDonald's? The well, everything's also a dollar. You're standing right there. Right. There's nothing. And once I got there, my like, I can't eat this shit no more. I was a kid. Yeah. I was going to school, fucking selling Halloween, weed, and I got McDonald's just so I can have a check mm-hmm. to show that, like, no, this is where my money's from. Right. Because it was just kind of weird, like... Yeah, driving a G-Wagon and you with no job. Never. Never like that. I just smoked... I sold weed to, to smoke weed. Like, I would sell a pound, keep a QP, smoke that QP, even though it was all profit. But by yeah. the time I read up again, I'm like, oh, I have a QP and another... I saw that one. Right. I was just such a fucking weed smoker, man. I mean, was. Would you rip off white kids? Fuck no. Hell no. My (laughs) friends are my friends. Uh, But like when it ever got like outside of your circle. I would never sold weed outside of my circle. Okay. Well, that's Because it's like, then you're talking about, now you have to deal with gangbangers and now you have to deal with motherfuckers who are like, why are you selling packs? Yeah. Well, it's always just like one guy be like, yo, fucking, can my homies, homie, hit you up? Oh, that's, no, I never skipped nobody, man. I yeah. could, I just couldn't do it and it was the most fire and I was charging so fucking much that I would be played if I played somebody. Right. It's also like point one of a gram is going to make you that much more money. There's no sense. That and people weigh sacks. Mm-hmm. People will weigh like, yo, what the fuck? Oh, this is true. Oh, if you had a scale and you bought weed, you knew better. That's cr- that's like when somebody holds up the hundred dollar bill in front of you. <laughs> Dude, I'd never. Wow. I never thought about this. Yeah, weighing it in front weed, of them. No, no, no. When you get home, I've oh. had people weigh it right when they get home. Like. You're a motherfucking liar. I, I have two scales. Yeah. But no, it, when it came to that point, I just. Ripping people off is just never, it just never really got, once I started actually selling weed, I couldn't do yeah. it. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it's just, you're already making enough money. And it's Plus like all it's the white kids are my friends, man. Yeah. I, I, like you, I told you, like, I had one Mexican home. We had chill with in high school. Every else was the crazy CKY white kids. CKY? That's how, that's how I grew up. Like, wow. we all watch CKY and do fucking Coke and treat Keystone Light all night. Yeah, you know, white kid shit. White kid shit. Then you make you. threats at your father. Yeah, <laughs> no, fuck. None of us had dads. <laughs> <laughs> Turn up, Mercedes, none of us had dads. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> That's pretty much uh, how how it happened. But mm-hmm. back to your uh, your college days. You graduate, then you go straight back to LA to start working on entertainment. Yeah, just trying to figure it out because I was doing Vine and stand up my senior year, and. And I moved to Los Angeles, and this was like right when like Vine was like it was still around, was kind of tapering out. Sixteen, like, what year? Twenty sixteen? Yeah, twenty sixteen. Yeah. So this was right around when I thought like um, I was like, you know what, Vine's kind of tapering out. Let me just go fully into stand up. Like, let me just stand up, stand up, stand up. So all I was doing was just open mics every night, and then like twenty seventeen, about a year of just stand up. I'm still doing stand up, and I'm like, you know what? Let me start. I think Facebook videos are gonna be big. Because the, the virality, you can share shit on Facebook, not like any other app at the point, at the point where it can snowball, you know, all these people share it and they see it and blah, 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 blah. And I started posting videos on Facebook and YouTube. And then I finally had something hit on Facebook. And ironically enough, also YouTube, the same video kind of hit. And I was just making fun of like the Zoomies employees. If you know, you know, Skate Shop. <laughs> I tried to apply there. They made me, they went, what song would you sing? I went, I'm going to leave. That's smart. That's like, but that's their job interview. Yeah, it was terrible. So like that, and have you ever done whippets? And you're like, yes. Like you're Probably hired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I actually got caught from stealing at a Zoomies, which is ironic because the first video I, I blew up off of on the internet was about Zoomies. And you got but caught stealing in high school. I got caught stealing. Oh, there. Okay, what were yeah. you stealing? A beanie. A beanie. I'll say Pussy a billabong ass sweater, bitch, dude. No, here's. Did you put the, it on and walk out? Even worse. What do you think? Do you think I did that? I think you might have did this one. And put it in your pants Try yep. to walk out with a bulge Okay <laughs> So you have me in the first half Okay okay I put it in the pants But I have too much guilt on the inside That I got something else And then like went to go buy it at the counter To Thank be l- uh, Yeah hey, Not only that a big but, ass beanie by your dick sir well, well I get to the counter and he goes Hey uh, you might want to take the beanie out of your pants too We have cameras back there We've been watching you Damn oh, Yeah They let you go yeah, it was just like... You, oh, they didn't tackle you. No. I mean, dude, if you're dumb enough to be like, here's my credit card, I would like to pay for the first thing. You're like, all right, this guy's not. This is his first time stealing. 
This is Q. First and last? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I remember stealing alcohol in college. Same thing. I fucking, I stole a bottle of uh, absolute vodka, put it in my pants, and then bought Gatorades. Idiot. Because I have like too much guilt to be uh, like, I get it. I can't steal everything. <laughs> I get it. I have uh, to give this giant corporation Ralph some money. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've never stole. I've, we talked about this recently. Really? I've just, my mom's like, you're going to go straight to hell. So as a kid, wow. I'm like, don't fucking steal shit. But yeah. I would be like, hey, man, if you're going to steal that bottle, I'll give you 10 bucks and I'll drink it with you. But I'm not stealing shit. Right. So my friends, the, beer, the, the bottle runs. Do you ever have to cut the black caps off? The top the, of the bottle. Dude, well, the time we stole this bottle, it was like in the back by the bathrooms and they hadn't put the lids on the caps. And so it was almost like asking. We were yeah, going were to asking we were it. going to a party, and I remember bringing that bottle, being like, "I had." I told every girl I, there, I stole this. I was like, "Do you I want a shot this. of this stolen alcohol that I yes! stole?" <laughs> yeah, I'm like going up to cops, I'm like, "Yeah, I stole this, dude. Fucking, what's up, dude? Arrest me." Uh, Chest yeah. bump, exactly. Yeah, but that was uh, other than that, not really at it. Yeah, it's not worth it because when you're young, you can get away with it. But once you turn eighteen, you're like, oh, "I can do time for this." Yeah, and plus. I mean, do you really want the fucking beanie that much? Never. It's never no, like that. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I just, I thought nobody else was in there and I didn't see the worker and I was like, God, I could probably get away with this. Did you grow up with money? Like, no. Were your parents well off? No. No? They're fine. Yeah, but it wasn't like, uh, like, like I remember my dad lost his job and there was like, like a month where my parents were like, you're like, nobody in this house is spending a dollar. Like we're fucking, we're staying on this. So no, I, and I think my parents did a really good job of spending me the value of a dollar. And I think I really, I never was like trying to just get money and blow it. Got so, you. Got you. Yeah. I think they did great with that. But are, you, are you an only child? I have an older sister. She's oh, two years do. older. Yeah. She was really like, she was only with the good grades, which sounds cliche, but like she got great grades, uh, got into really good college. And then I was just like, y'all are smoke weed out of a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> So elephant elephant walk coming soon. Yeah, exactly. I think my parents were just happy that I found a passion as young as like 17 to be like, oh, he's amazing. Man. Yeah, because for them, That's I mean, young. it's like 18 is coming up. Is he going to college? Is he staying in the house? Do we kick him out? And then like fourth quarter player Trev was just like comedy. And then they're like, thank God. But Fuck at yeah. first they were like, yeah, we're glad we're glad you like it as a hobby. And then the more I started to do it, they're like, cool, but like also get a job. And then when I told them I was quitting my job to just do this full time, they were like, honestly, we knew this was coming. We're glad you're doing that. Good so, shit, man. Super supportive. Support, yeah, supportive background. That's yeah, great, Yeah, they're dude. great, dude. They live like vicariously through me. Like my dad will just text me and be like, just to look at your website. Your Dallas shows aren't even up yet. Are you, you do not care about this shit? <laughs> good, man. The fucking they're on it. That's, oh, yeah. that's so yeah. cool to have like someone to support you that oh, you've dude. been there. Yeah, my dad the was like time. booking my flights for like the first like two years. I was like nice. touring and shit. Really? What's your, is your dad? He's retired now. He, what did he do? Sales. He was in like the, he sold like bicycles. Like, you know, Diamondback bicycles. Fuck yeah. He, yeah. He worked for them for like 20 some years. Damn. You yeah. must have had the plug as a kid. I had a dope bike growing yeah, up. Yeah, pegs. Uh, I, uh, did I try to stand on a thing? I did. I don't think shit. But I like, did. my dad was like so in the bike world that like pegs were like cliche and like, <laughs> like entry That's level. for amateurs. Yeah, he's like, you wouldn't put a spoiler on a Ferrari, Trevor. And you're like, what are you even <laughs> like, saying? Come with them, dad. Yeah, exactly. But no, my dad got me like this fucking like little sick like BMX bike that was like fucking. Dude, you work for Diamondback? Yeah. Oh, wow. Those mm -hmm. are expensive as shit right now. Those are reselling the fucking Oh, 90s pandemic? Ones. Or you think just no, just no, trend? Like OG? Did you know this about OG? He's a fucking avid BMX bike collector. He has so many classic dinos and shit. I'm not surprised by that, though. Yeah, but my friend, he does it. They're thousands of dollars for those friends really? right now. Yeah, bro. Damn, dude. Yeah, but that's cool, man. You have a supportive background. That's one thing I wanted to ask. Were you, were you, are your parents down? Do they yeah. like this shit? Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, I think in the... Be oh, it's hard to believe, believe in something in the beginning if you're not seeing results, you know? It's like... Because views are just a number in a sense, you know? Yeah. Like, your parents are like, okay, cool, like... This his video got fifty thousand views. That's cool, but like, is there money? Is this a long term thing? Is this a job? But like, I remember we were in fucking Santa Fe, New Mexico, of all places. My mom's like, "Let's go there for vacation." You know, just white people be random. <laughs> they, they, well, I'll tell you what, they got great food out there, and they got fucking fire margaritas out there. But this was probably like twenty seventeen, right after this first like video started to hit, and we were at lunch, and somebody like came up to me, was like, "Dude, you're Trevor Wallace. I love your videos," and that's the first time my parents were like. Oh shit. Awesome. I was fucking playing so cool, like to try and not freak out. Cause this is also maybe like the second time I've ever been like recognized. So 
I was just playing it cool. It's like, yeah, what are we talking about? Huh, who got the fajitas? All right, shit. <laughs> What's the move after this? <laughs> <laughs> to your parents? Yeah. <laughs> so you're trying to go to One Oak or what? But Was it gradual when like doing your live comedy, noticing that the people that were coming out to the show yeah. were from yeah. watching your videos? It would be like I would post local shows either in Los Angeles or like Ventura, my hometown, and I would have maybe a few few people come out. You know, mm-hmm. and, and, and then it just kind of like got more and more. And then I just like, you know, the more videos I was posting, the more views those were getting. It's just like this kind of like collaborative or not collaborative, but like they both kind of rose at the same time, which was really well, cool. Well, it's like a counterweight. Like yeah. this, this, this pop and more fools are showing up to your show. Right. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's just the way it works, dude. What's good for you. Or what's good for because views don't give matter. But they fucking do when it comes to oh that turned into a ticket sale exactly right yeah, exactly it's, it's, it matters man like 100%. a lot of people like you don't get paid for, when did you start getting paid for doing content or do you like, yeah did YouTube pay you and shit yeah 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 oh I mean, fuck yeah 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 uh probably like probably like tw- like end of twenty eighteen it was like when I saw like I checked I was like oh this could this could help with rent you know got you because I know like oh I'll give you three hundred dollars for like bro that's yeah, I live in LA. Yeah, bro. I remember I fucking I did like a brand deal. I think it was an energy drink, kind of up near Merced. I forget where it was. Was it called Fifty One Fifty? Bro, I, are you fucking with me? That's Mike and Iraqi. That's one of my best homies from Merced. That was the one. Yeah, Mike and Iraqi made up Fifty One Fifty in Merced. Are they still around? I don't know, but the last time I saw him, he was driving a truck. Bro, bro fuck yeah! Yeah, Fifty One Fifty, Mike and Iraqi. That was homie. my first brand deal I ever did. Wow, it's from Merced. Where to it's go? From Merced. Because I remember I drove up there to their gym to do a video. That's the, crazy. The brand deal, I did it myself. Like, no managers, no agent, no nothing. They just reached out and they're like, we want five videos. You just have to wear the merch. You don't have to You don't have to call it out. And then you film a video like at our gym. Cool. And I have a video, old, old, old video. And it actually did well on my YouTube. It was like different types of people at the gym from like, this was like 2017. And it's at the 5150 gym. And, random. and I forget how much they paid me per video. I think it was like 150 bucks per video. Oh. But at the time, you're like, bro, I don't have an income. This That's everything. Yeah. And they, dude, they sent me so many goddamn drinks. I would show up to like a pregame before going out with a 24 pack of energy drinks. <laughs> like, Trevor, are you a fucking youth pastor right now? What do you, you want to have a heart attack tonight? That is crazy. I'm I was on bitches <laughs> at the bar. Yeah. I was like, youth pastor I was like, there's no way he'll know what this is. And then you fucking called it out. <laughs> yeah, 51 funny. I went to high school with Mikey. Wow. It's one of the first people he's really, like, really. I told you, it's kind of with the white kids, CK white kids. That's him? That's well, Mikey, he was the good one. He was the one like, oh, I'm not going to do drugs every day with you Yeah, guys. I'm just going to start an energy game. drink company that uh, is also named after, what is that code when cops if you want to crazy? Yeah, a crazy yeah. person. <laughs> yeah, they're like, what do you want this energy drink to be called? The psychopath. Insane. Yeah, guy with a spear uh, running down Los Angeles. salt <laughs> face. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. Dude, the last time I saw him, I was working, I was selling packs from out of my fucking car. At the, I used to deliver pizza and sell weed out of my bag. So I'd walk up to my friend's house and pretend I'm selling pizza in there and just have my weed and scale. Yeah. Who's, and who's going to fucking pull me over? But that's the last time I saw his ass. I'm starting an energy drink company. Go, fuck yeah. Yeah. How random, man. That's crazy. Good dude. shit. That's, that's wild that's how awesome. things kind of come full circle, you know? That's a trip, man. Wow. Um, I have one more thing I want to ask you. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, something we do called Who Were You in the 90s? Oh, wow. And I looked it up and we're almost, we're right around the same age. So I know you're going to know most of this shit. Mm-hmm. And from our talk before we started, you're going to know most of this shit. So I'm just going to ask you a question or I'm going to ask you, pick one or the other. What would you pick? That's it. Okay. So this is called, what, who are you in the from 90s? From your perspective of from you, you in the 90s. In the 90s. Me in the as 90s. Kid. Okay. Uh, okay. Ready? Yeah. VH1 or MTV? MTV. Same. Because what the fuck are you going to watch on VH1 as a kid? Yeah, MTV Behind had like the, the badass people. Like the, that was like the first. Cribs. Yeah. They had Cribs was crazy. Back when they played the Gorillaz videos and shit. Like yeah. when it was fun still. Cribs was wild. I couldn't imagine 2022 like people showing off their house. This is what I have and inside. Come rob me. <laughs> Seriously. True. If you want to do Cribs, I'd get an Airbnb in Sherman Oaks and I'd do a studio apartment. Like this is it. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah, Yo, I, I never I thought about nothing. that. Yeah, Fuck. you wouldn't. But dude, they're showing how much shit they have. And then they show like an aerial view. And they're yeah. like, he lives in Toluca Lake. Yeah, and they're like, uh, we yeah. can find Ludacris' house. If we need <laughs> yeah. to. <laughs> yes, we can. Dude. But this was before like the deep internet. Now it's yeah. like, I wouldn't. I think they tried to bring it back. It's like, I would not post. I thought I have that. I have Uber Eats drivers like recognize me. And I'm like, this is weird. Enough. I have I got people go for the Uber Eats, dude. <laughs> yeah. Because I have people recognize me all the time. And yeah. at one time here, I went. It's weird. Fuck. I got a lot of shit in here. I don't know if you're a good then, guy. Yeah, then you like kind of like fake lie. You're like, no, it's my girlfriend's house. Even times I'm in my elevator, I'm like, what's up, my homies? I'm like, 
fuck, I gotta get a house. I gotta yeah. get out of this Barton building. Yeah. This is bull. My fucking neighbors, like, I'm a big fan. I go, dude. One fuck. time in my old apartment, I walked past. They had this like window that kind of like showed into the courtyard. They were watching my video as I walked. Fuck oh, yeah, sure. I love that. But it was shit. cool. But I had never talked to them. So I didn't know if they were like, man, who is this guy? Or if it was by or like chances or I don't know. It was just like weird. I was like, oh, God, I got out of here. It's <laughs> awesome. Though. I, I've, I came up behind somebody once watching my video. I'm like, fuck. I know. Man. Yeah. Where the UPS guy walked in. Like, fuck. Right. Zach. You're yeah. get, you get high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get high. You do the Keep weed. on the download. You do the weed. I thought I lived next to a, a, like a raging porn star when we lived in the park apartments for the first year. She had the pink hair. She's like shredded. Mm-hmm. Boyfriend is shredded. Camera crew following him around. Like on the regular. Lived mm-hmm. right next door to me. Turned out to be fucking Eva Maria, this huge WWE star. Oh, I know, I know, I know that yeah. Is, yeah. Took yeah. me a long time to realize. Yeah, I was like, oh no, she's like an actual regular celebrity. Damn. That's awesome. Yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> um, so yes, no more, no more cribs. That would never happen. So VH1 and T- MTV, you got MTV, mm-hmm. and then this is the, probably the hardest one. If you had to fucking choose, and I know you're gonna go through your brain and go, well, fuck Adam Sandler or Jim Carrey. If you had to watch their movies for the rest of your life. Uh, it, it is so because I love them both, but I'm going Sandler. Same. Adam Sandler just got some f- just water boy. Just, oh, so it's kind of hard to name them all, bro. Oh, it, my gets, God. it gets better. You go, but how do you Billy Madison, that? Big and Daddy? Like, and little Nicky came around and was just shit on Little everybody. Nicky was one of the first time I ever saw tits in a movie. It was on, on his, his head. head. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, can you do this? Was this the first like- time I ever saw boobs was Total Recall when the girl had three boobs. Oh, wow. Remember that? The Arnold Schwarzenegger movie? <laughs> but, she dude, those. You, those girls gone wild commercials at I was three a kid. with the stars over it the was nipples. Weird, huh? That shit was Call better. right now, nineteen ninety nine. That shit was better than porn because you're like, I don't know what the hell's behind those stars, but I need to. <laughs> and know. we were six, and then after, yeah. right after that, Jack Lane juicer. So what you're gonna want to do? Yeah. <laughs> Juice your cucumbers. Commercials were great at that. They point. were dope, and then Billy Mays was there, and then Billy the Shamwan yeah. guy, and then uh, they all just or died or fell off. We got to put Billy Mays and the Shamwan guy in the fucking list. Billy Mays is dead. He could still make the Who Were You in the 90s Oh, I list. thought you yeah. meant the list to get on the show. I'm like, bro, he is oh, wow. gone. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't say that. <laughs> you just have a cutout of him on the chair, but love your yeah. work, man. <laughs> love your work. Want a line? Yeah. <laughs> you want multiple bumps, Billy Mays? Yeah. Um, Tupac or Biggie Smalls? Biggie. Damn. Biggie just Fast. has a voice. You hear an... Uh, Hear the, the Biggie has a voice for rapping. It. Same way Rick Ross, you hear him, you go, he's destined to be a rapper. Biggie had that fucking, he's got it, like, it's like, he fills out all of the music. It feels like there's no, like, you ever hear a rapper who sounds like, it's like a small guy in a big room? Mm-hmm. Biggie had a tone where it felt like he fit the music perfectly. I like great that. explanation. That's yeah. great, dude. Yeah. I got fucking played because my mom's from here and she's like, no, Biggie Smalls is not a good rapper, Thomas. Yeah. It's only Tupac. So I didn't listen to Biggie until like 19, too. bro. Well, no, Biggie. Tupac's great. I'm Biggie Smalls all day. It's only fucking two albums. I'm yeah. like, no, all day. Yeah. Just for me, it's more hip hop shit for me. Yeah, Biggie's Yeah, great. Uh, that's my shit. But, mm-hmm. um, oh, damn, I haven't seen these in a minute. Step by step or family matters. God, that's uh, hard. Yeah. You know what? No, it's Straight not fucking family yeah, matters. People, what, what are you picking? Family matters, yeah. family matters. Step by step's cool, but the boyfriends were never that fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, you know, Steve <laughs> Urkel and fucking Eddie Winslow, that's all I need. Uh, ooh, Pulp Fiction or Forrest Gump. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. That movie was, uh, that was like the first time I watched it. I was like, this is fucking, this is tight. I think I even bought a Pulp Fiction t shirt after. Let's go. It's his favorite movie. Yeah. It's a great movie. Mm. And that girl, Uma. Which one? The heroin girl. Uma. Yeah. yeah. Wait. Oh, you're talking about the oh, Uma Thurman? Yeah. Or I thought you meant the, his fucking <laughs> wife. The fucking girl that's oh. freaking out about the needle. Like, no, 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 hurt no. Him. no, no, no. And then uh, just the, the fucking, the say what again. That scene uh-huh. is like, Great, yeah. like, dude. If you ever just if you ever sober and you want that cocaine feel, just watch that scene. That's a true story. That shit's fucking. What got nuts. me hooked was Phil Lamar. Remember Phil Lamar? Phil Lamar, yeah, was in that scared in the uh-huh. corner. Go, Matt TV, and I was like, Mom, what is this movie? <laughs> Ray's getting raped. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, 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 <laughs> I was yeah. Like, oh shit. Uh, this guy's well, funny. Is that the guy from the mask? Oh shit! Yeah. The fucking white dude's raping big rape. Everything Which, about Pulp Fiction had it such a cool like feel and tone and everything. aesthetic, and it, it still plays to this day. You know, yeah, I can watch it tomorrow. Well, yeah. You just blew it's my fun. fucking mind that that was the same dude. Yeah, it's Dory. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. We're gonna get some motherfuckers. With Dory the blow comes torch. up on the podcast every other episode. Too. I know why. But we were stuck in the nineties, bro. But it's okay. <laughs> I fucking live there forever. You know? It's fun. It's a great place. Oh god, Penny. Uh, no, it's it. The original it. Tim Curry or Chucky. 
Uh, I wasn't really big on. I, I was. I was only watching comedies. Yeah, but I'd go Chucky because he had red hair and I had red hair as a kid. Well, too, I, don't, turn I, don't, up. I don't mean like a <laughs> turn up. I don't, I don't mean like a, who's cooler. Those. You know what? Oh, so what if, you, if which I was one the, were you more scared of as a kid, Chucky or Chucky? Yeah. Chucky. Same. Tells yeah. eighteen years old. Yeah. I yeah. It's still me. an issue. Something about don't the, the height of Chucky. It's a voice for me. The voice. When he starts going through the spell. Ugh. Yeah. His face turns animatronic. That yeah. fucked me up as a kid. Two, uh-huh. two gingers in one room is yeah. already enough. Motherfuckers, yeah. I level with me as a kid. Like, yo, I got a box. Right. This you, man. Do you swing? Do you kick? I always thought, like, I'd bury him. I'd, and then the part one came where they buried him. Yeah, but yeah. he got out. Oh, that's every scary movie in the 90s is they, like, bury him. Then their, like, knife comes out yeah. first. And it's like, <laughs> That fucked me up, dude. When he's in the he's in the toy toy factory melting, uh-huh. screaming. Yep. <sighs> that dude, that fucking got me right yeah. now. I'm in my thirties, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Fuck this. <laughs> um, okay, here we go. Oh, easy, Mario or Donkey Kong. Uh You're first person to hesitate. Ever. I might go Donkey Kong. Really? Yeah. No shit. Donkey Kong, he, dude, that's, that's my guy right there. Fuck no way. Stack I never heard anybody <laughs> say it. You think that's your, cool, your brain wants to tell you to go Mario, but something about DK, so you're like, Donkey Kong. Dude, that guy was, that was like one that's of That's why I put him on there. He's legendary to a lot of people. It's I, mean. I just, I loved Mario, bro. Yeah. So much. The flowers and the spit. As a kid, I fucking Mario's great too, shit. but, you know, something about Donkey Kong, like, you just feel like you would protect you a little bit. <laughs> but then well, again, I'd be a little that, Italian than his brother. I'd be that guy who'd pick Peach every once in a while for Mario Kart uh, just to oh, fuck with people. Shit. Uh-huh. I'd always lose. <laughs> I'd always I'd lose. Mario Kart, bro. I played the other day at the fucking, at David Buster. Like, yeah, fuck you, kid. I lost. Uh-huh. Dude, I mean, it's, these kids are built different. Yeah, that's true. They're off the mountain, dude. And they're fucking on. <laughs> I'm fucking drinking at David Buster. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're going to be slower. This kid's fucking on. Man. <laughs> I get it, though. But How about all the mushroom culture in those early fucking Nintendo games, right? They're mushroom oh, the fuck out all over the place. They got the little toad oh, guy. I never thought about that, bro. Yeah, they're fucking spitting fire flame. Like, you are fucking influenced. right. You're on something. He starts flying. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, damn. Okay, remember, this is the 90s. Mm-hmm. So if we're kids, McDonald's. Bush or no Bush? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's. Yep. The yeah. coolest toys, I will bro. say chicken fries from Burger King. That was a hot era. But that was early 2000s. Yeah, that was when I was like in middle was school, 2000s. I think. And they brought them back like I just thought we didn't toy. forget. Do you remember getting VHSs from McDonald's? Oh, no. shit. No? No? I had the Wayne's World with the McDonald's stamp on it. I bad one. Really? Fern yeah. Gully. Yeah, they used to do DVDs or, or uh, VHSs you can buy them for like seven ninety nine. Really? Yeah, when, when they would get the toy. Do you want to buy the fucking VHS? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I used to get them. I have. I think that was just Merced, just flipping DVDs. <laughs> Fuck, man, could They're you? Like, was they just collab, us. Yeah, they collab with Blockbuster. It straight up has a McDonald's logo on it, though. I mean, that should. Yeah, been they, the, dude, the, right. the kids' toy and all like those packages used to be way doper growing up because it'd be a McDonald's exclusive. Do you remember the now space it's like, oh uh, yeah, everyone's space jam. You get the stuffed. Yeah. Stuffed. I got the big tall blue fucking Dude, there, there'd be <laughs> beanie baggy in, in there and it'd be like wrapped in like plastic with like fry grease on it. Oh, yeah. I would eat that shit. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. Isn't that crazy? They threw a toy in there with your food. Hey, yeah, here's some plastic. It's you genius. can taste it. Smart. <laughs> it's smartest smart. thing of all it time. It might melt. It just shut the hell out of a kid. Give him food and give him something to play with. And you can't yeah. drive past one without them fucking screaming for the fucking toy. Yeah. Bro, right right because, now, because they had multiple toys. I need this one. I only have yeah. that one. Yeah, but they genius. wouldn't let you buy the other one sometimes. You Mercedes. can't just buy them. No, you, you can't. can't them. It's a luck of the draw what they yeah, fucking give you. Some bullshit. The last two ones. These ones are ones are a little harder. Right. Oh, no. Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. Ooh. As a kid. As a kid is Jordan. Right? Yeah. I, I think it's just like, I love basketball growing up. I couldn't play for shit. But just seeing what he did, it was just seeing, you ever seen a, like a, a warm knife cut through butter? No. Just seeing him like just pace through, it's just like. Every kid wanted to be that. Yeah. You either owned his shoes or shirt or, or something. Space Jam came out. Space Jam. You were yeah. hooked. Mm-hmm. That motherfucker hooked and, the And we had seven foot hoops at our elementary school. Oh, so you were trying Fucking to dunk and shit. I was touching net. Oh, <laughs> that was big. The day me. I touched net, it was, it was but, or the top but, of your hallway. Dude, there was school? a kid in fifth grade who could dunk. And I'm like, if this dude doesn't get a bitch pregnant. <laughs> 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 but like, so to see him do these crazy dunks and then I could touch net in my head, I was like, dude, I'm. I'm almost MJ. I get you. I had, a, I had a Michael Jordan watch. My grandma got me. And I thought it was I was the dopest motherfucker ever. Dude, I mean, he just <laughs> global star. Yeah, for sure. Like just, before Sprite and everybody mm-hmm. took over with Kobe's and I shit. Think, I think I was just was too Michael young Jordan. for Michael Jackson. Which is a weird thing to say. Both ways. Just, <laughs> you know. 
You know. You know. We're late enough in the episode where we're not getting demonetized. And if we are, then fuck it. Yeah. Damn, that was great. Yeah, the uh, first time I ever heard about Michael Jackson was the Neverland Ranch. We actually drove past it, me and my family. Where, where is that at? We just had this conversation. Where? I can't say. No, I mean, is it in a uh, town? Uh, like he, in he California? Told me not to say. <laughs> Get the fuck out. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I think it's in California. I think it's like, it's like, uh, I don't know where that's at. Where do you get that property? I don't know. But I remember hearing about it and then I was like, that sounds kind of fun. And my dad's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait a second here, sir. <laughs> it does sound fun. Of course. Of course. It's supposed yeah. to be you fun. You've seen the South Park episode? Oh, yeah. Take him out. Like, bro, can I live Dude, here? South I'm Parks. Cartman. <laughs> Minus, I want to lay next to this motherfucker. Yeah. Like, Yo, can I chill with the fucking dolphins? Right. And the elephants? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, real quick before we. Did you see the South Park pandemic episodes? No. Do I heard the, a favorite. I heard they're really good. They're all in their 30s now. Yeah. They all are old. Oh, it's really? So fucking weird. Is it weird? Like when they're old? Let me just drop one little gem. Mushrooms. Cartman's a Jewish rabbi. Really? And I'll just leave it at that. It's intriguing enough to go, wait, what the fuck did... I gotta watch it. Yeah. It's ri- it's ridiculous, bro. It's only two episodes, but it's good. I've heard that from a few people. It's fucking fun. Yeah. Um, okay, last one. We always say this shit. Uh, that's a Keenan and Kel shit. It's orange soda or Nest Quick as a kid with a light-skinned rabbit. <laughs> oh, what uh, between those yeah, two? Yeah, remember the light-skinned rabbit? Yeah. No. Or... Nest fuck, quick. Yeah. Same too. With that powder shit, how are you going to fucking yeah. tell me anything else? I, you know, I might even get crazy and get a strawberry milk every once in a while. That's what I used to do. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I never mixed them, but I would fuck strawberry milk up and put cookies in it and yeah. ruin it. But I was a soda kid growing up, but also, but the chocolate milk, a good chocolate milk still to this day. I mean, I wouldn't do it in public, but I'd get a chocolate milk. I wouldn't do it in public. <laughs> yeah, bro. You can't be in your, you can't be 29 getting chocolate milk. Uh, no, bro. I'll be no riding my cart in a lollipop. I don't give a fuck with candy, a joint right here. Candy I can do. Chocolate milk, yeah. middle of the day. It just. Order one at a restaurant. I'll do a milkshake. Yeah, chocolate milk it. You could do it at a restaurant. But yeah, it's like just by the like, oh, fuck it. I'm feeling it today. <laughs> like, it's so, been a while. Like, exactly. You got to say some dumb cliche fucking Forever 21 t-shirt. You deserve it if you work it. You know, just get the chocolate milk, I think. So your next one is all the dudes that shop at H&M. <laughs> think of that one. Yeah. I have a homie that's, specific, he looks like a mannequin from H&M and I cannot stop yeah, talking shit to him. I was trying to think about like doing ones like the the designers of Forever 21. I don't think they're still around. But like you, the designers, it's like they just throw, it's like a normal t-shirt then on the back. They just put some insane quote. Live it, be it, free it, show your tits. And you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> the progressive mom, eat, love, laugh. Oh uh-huh. my God. <laughs> that fuck. Yeah, what, what, what happens? But there is a point in life where you it just, uh, flip hit like you something clicks and you're like that shirt's hard i always wondered that like am i gonna be there one day and going you know yeah. what live laugh love is gonna be no, i don't see it happen yeah i remember growing up i was like bro if i'm ever wearing tennis shoes and jeans just take me out that's just bomb. and then one day i did it and i was like it's great this is great for agility <laughs> yeah this is great if a shopping cart starts to go down the driveway you're like bring that thing back here. well my thing i can't wear is flip-flops i'm like yo what if someone starts trying to fight me yeah like i gotta be aggressive <laughs> You ever seen those flip flops that have the beer opener on the bottom? That's peak white people right yes. there. That That's hilarious. Like, Officer, you're opening a beer with something that you stepped in dog shit with. It's a good way to put it, too. That is the ultimate white guy shit. That yeah. is white guy Want to jump off a it. cliff after? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's Doing sharks. Pet some yeah. lions. Yeah. 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 Pet some lions, yeah. I don't do any of the white people shit. Marty doesn't either. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do, guys. Time to go pet some lions. I do, guys. Rock climbing. <laughs> yeah. Bang. Um, that was you. Who were you in the nineties? Thank you. Of course. Just wanted to ask these questions because I always want to get a feel. Of the yeah, person. the most well thought out answers I think by far. Yeah, I'm well, a far. lot of them need explaining. You know. Yeah, most people just Michael Jackson. Like motherfucker, why? Yeah. <laughs> Sp- tell me mm-hmm. uh, before we get out here, please. Where can everybody find your shows? I know uh, he brought them up. TrevorWallaceComedy.com. TrevorWallaceComedy. Yeah, I got a big ass like 28 city tour starting next week. Really? Yeah, New Orleans, baby, kicking it off in the titty town itself. Uh, dude, they're going everywhere. All- Tampa, Florida, Milwaukee, Chicago, yep. D.C., Pittsburgh, Columbus. TrevorWallaceComedy.com. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll overlay going, it on the dude. There's, there's, so, there's so many cities. Link to the um, description, guys. Remember that. It'll thank be you, in the man. description. But yeah, dude, it's going to be a good time. I mean, I it's different from the videos. It's just stand-up. It's just, you know, it's just a different part of my brain. And, I, and I've always loved to keep the two separate. So I think it, you, there's a lot of similarities where you can you can feel like there's a character coming out in a bit or something like that. But it, but it is, uh, you know, it's just a good time. That's awesome, dude. Uh, is this your biggest tour that you've done? Yeah. This is Rats, like the first, yeah. like... 
The other yeah, ones have just been in like comedy clubs. For, you'll do a couple shows in a weekend there, but this is like one nighter in a theater. Oh Next, no shit! Each city, each okay. night is a new city type of feel. So it's wow. like it's kind of cool, man. It's like it's feeling like a. Have you been doing theaters? Or? Mm-hmm. I've done a few, but this is the first like theater tour run. This is like this is like uh, what separates the boys from the yeah. men, which is you know interesting because I still feel like I have so much to learn. But uh, it's a it's a really big kind of like moment to kind of like pat yourself on the back like oh, oh shit yeah. we're actually doing congratulations that's a lot of big, reached that level. thank you man so i'm uh you know i'm excited i'm nervous i'm anxious i have every feeling i think i can have but overall i'm just excited that's fucking awesome so it's gonna be it's gonna be wild man are you gonna put out a special anytime soon uh i, I think uh maybe at the end of this tour since i'm gonna be doing the same material i'll probably be pretty tired of it by the end and i'll probably want to put it on camera but if i do sick if not you know, I'll get, I don't want to rush a special because then you get people just fucking. Well, you got to fucking eat. Shit. I feel like you might be a perfectionist when it comes to this. Yeah. So it's, you're going to be sitting all up all night. Oh, I rushed it. I fucking rushed it. it. Right. Exactly. Yeah, I know what you and, mean. And yeah, it, and it's hard because, you know, you can sit on it forever until the right moment is, but there never really is a right moment. Uh, and if there is a right moment, it might be right for you, but not for like a network. Mm-hmm. You're like, I'm ready. They're like, we don't give a fuck. You're 43. Shut up. <laughs> But if somebody like Hulu or Netflix or HBO Max is like, yeah, we, we came to your last show in Los Angeles. We loved it. We want to buy it. Then that's when you sit down with yourself and be like, all right, is this, am I happy putting this out? Am I doing this for the money? Or am I doing this because I'm ready? You know, yeah, that's, that's when the you biggest thing. You figure it out. And then you look dead in the camera. You go, bitch, I'm doing this for the money. <laughs> <laughs> no. Fuck it, dude. Yeah. Fuck it. You're like, I can still make more yeah. shit. No, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited just for everything that's coming. I don't know what it is, but I'm excited for it. Well, congrats, man. That's a huge deal. 28 cities. Yeah, it's some, some crazy Are you doing shit. your hometown? Uh, the last stop is in Los Angeles, yeah. but uh, Where's going to be in LA? So the for Novo. everyone out here. Oh, the Novo. I've, I've yeah, been Yeah, it's in downtown. I fuck yeah, with that. It's right. I used to live across the street. In uh, LA Live area. Yeah, fuck yeah. The Novo's yeah. That's bomb, the biggest dude. theater I'm doing on this, on this trip That's like at what? the Novo. 1,200 people? 1,500. 1,500. Wow. A lot of fucking people. Holy shit. A lot of people. <laughs> I know, bro. But luckily, it's the last one on the tour. So, you know, I, I can, like, build up the hype yeah. and, you know, show people, like, snippets of what it is. And, uh, you know, I perform in L.A. so much that everyone's like, yeah, we can pay, you know, theater prices to go see them. Or we see them at the Laugh Factory for $7. And it's like, you know. Come it's on. a difference, though, man. We can uh, support man. somebody in their fucking spot. Yeah, it'll, it'll be, and it'll be the last show of the tour, so this shit, the material's gonna be tight. It's gonna be fucking seasoned. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be, I'm, I'm excited for it. You know, I, I feel happy about it. I don't feel like this theater, this tour's rushed. I feel, like, excited, and it's not like, uh, it doesn't feel like a money grab at all, which is which good, is man. good, because whenever you feel like something's forced, it, it, oh, yeah. your audience can feel it. We're about to start doing live shows. Yeah, our first ones. Nice. This year, yeah. Nice, man. That live show, uh, land is it's a whole different ball game, but it's fun, oh, yeah. man. It's a different type of energy, you know. Oh, for Here, sure. We have nobody to impress except Marty, but yeah. but you know, you're doing a live show, and you're like, oh, oh, why does that person have their arms folded? Why aren't you like that? So, you know, <laughs> but, but it saying. is, but but when the jokes are hitting and people are responding, that live energy is just unbeatable. So, man, it went from your mom saying, hey, you should do this, you have a good personality. I know, that's crazy to fucking. Dick grab elephant walks, but not for real. Yeah, yeah. And now yeah. you're doing your theater shows. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah, that shit doesn't man. make sense, man. It's very cool though, dude. It's it's sense. cool. I know you're thinking back when I was fifteen, like fucking theater shows. Yeah. So I it's fucking nuts, love it, man. man. And you so gotta cool. look back a little bit sometimes to compare the two, because I think we're always looking ahead. But and you always have to high five your younger self, like yeah, job, keep yeah. going. Hey man, smoke that weed out of that light bulb. Exactly. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Who cares, bro? Yeah. You're gonna get paid to laugh. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, it's 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 uh it's really cool, man. and I think uh looking back is definitely Important factor Fuck of all yeah. this. So on YouTube, just Trevor Wallace. YouTube, Trevor Wallace, Instagram, Trevor Wallace, TikTok, all? Trevor Wallace. Uh, all, all of them, but Twitter. Twitter's just some other redhead guy who hasn't posted in years. Oh, might be oh. deceased. I don't know. Oh, good. <laughs> We've tried to get his name, but I don't even use Twitter anymore. It's so I just you know I got uh, you know TikTok, gotcha. Instagram. Uh, so YouTube, above all else, TrevorWallaceComedy dot com. Yeah, that's the website. Trevor Wallace right. Comedy. Remember, guys, in the description, check out some tickets. Go fucking sport. Go hang out. Have fun. Thank you so much for being on the show, man. Of course, bro. It was a great time. You guys do a great job. Thank you for being here, dude. Um, Anything else? (sighs) Guys, January 28th, Netflix, In From The Cold. Go support that. Oh, yes. There it is for Netflix, guys. I didn't want to forget about that, but yeah. I know, I know. We've had so many guests for, what, a month that we, we usually do solo episodes. We'll be like fucking three hours long. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) And we update everybody on life, but... It's a big project. We yeah. talked about it on Instagram. I just wanted to make sure we mentioned that because it's going to come out by the time this one comes out. 
But yeah, a lot of the some of the most important people we work with tied to this show on Netflix and oh, from nice. the cold. Let's go support that. Support and, that, guys. Thank you so much. Hell yeah. But above all, right before we get out of here, trevwalls.com for all tickets. Thank you so much for being here, dude. Yeah, appreciate man, you. Yeah, it's a great time. Oh, yeah. Guys, this has been the Dope as Usual podcast. Thank you for being here. Have a dope ass day. Sweet. Two episodes, no smoking. Wow. I feel Dang, like a fucking. Dude, do you feel any different when we do an episode of smoking or no? No, I'm just, I'm always high. Perfect.